It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> We're just getting the energy right in the room, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. We had WTF Media Studios, you know what I mean? That's exactly what Carl going to say. WTF? What the fuck? What's going on over here? What the fuck, Wax? Okay. I thought I said it. Nah, but we here this week. Uh, We back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. It's nasty in New York. Actually, it's beautiful today. It's beautiful it's today. So beautiful, beautiful today. today. But I guess you know. Uh, yes, was where Show studios is that is nuts. And uh, 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 I don't know where it is. To be, I don't know how it I is. Don't you know. Know. I don't yeah, know. Y'all yeah. told me to be here. I'm like, all right. I live down the block. You work down the block. Makes sense. makes sense. And we're yeah. doing it on Thursday. Yes. You know, makes usually sense. we record on Wednesdays. We're at the studio. We're doing a Patreon episode for flagrant. But Thursday, well, I'll take a nice little stroll to work. Word. Right? You know what I mean? Wax is here too. You know what's so yes. interesting? I'm, I'm at the house and it's raining and shit yesterday and lightning. And when you in the house, you really don't realize what's going on in the, the world. Yeah. And like, I disconnect after a certain time. So yeah, I wake up so. and I'm seeing people like, yo, y'all okay? Yeah. There's an emergency. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, well, goddamn, <laughs> how far did they dig back, dig back on social media this time? What old <laughs> We, like, what old audio came out this time? Like, yeah. God damn. But it was because of the weather. Yeah. And I'm like, I, and they like, yo, you going into work in the morning? I'm like, yeah. And I drove into work fine, except when I got to the West Side Highway. Literally yeah, that was a wrap. Bro, it was a tree. A tree yeah. must have just fell. Yeah. No, it, in a car, it was, you didn't see the white truck? Yeah, it was all. It was an accident. It was like a yeah, three-car accident. accident. Yeah, so that's what made me realize the, the tree must have just Bro, fell. The gym mm. in my building was in like four feet of water. What? Our whole storage unit flooded. All our shit. Well, I had a little bit of flooding downstairs. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Listen, the earth tired of y'all shit. Okay, humans been knocking and now the earth is bucking. You know what? This is the thing about it, though. Today is what? Objectively stunning. September 2nd. Beautiful. It's mm. the most beautiful day of summer. It's, it's perfect nice. weather. Tomorrow probably going to be better, but maybe tomorrow is a little, but like this is the metaphor for life. Like it gets incredibly shitty, mm -hmm. dark, fucked up. You think it can't get worse. And a few hours later, you could have the best day of your life. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something else. That's You're it. absolutely right. But guess what? One day, some apocalyptic shit is gonna happen for real. Cause you I think? saw CNN saying apocalyptic scenes in New York. I'm like, knock it off. If it, on, if, if this is apocalyptic, then what what was New Orleans this week? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but one day it's gonna be some real apocalyptic shit, and we're all gonna be wiped out. Nah. And guess what? Nah. The sun gonna rise just like it is nah. right now. It is. And the animals gonna be out living their yeah. life. Like, you finally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, I saw a video this morning. It was, it was a, a rat, rat swimming, yeah, like, enjoying. Yeah. Like, the rat was like, I think the humans are gone, yeah. yo. Yeah. It was like, I was like, shit. Yeah, but without us, they can't even survive. How That's a damn go, lie. How nah, you keep telling yourself that lie. Yeah. But we're like, fool. We ain't cooking it. Yeah, exactly. Rats have been here longer than us. I don't know if that's true. That's a fact. Act. Are you sure? We're gonna eat though. We, what do you mean? They eat all the shit that we grow and cook. Man, that's what you think. I don't know These what rats. New eat. age rats. These ain't no. Back in the day, rats probably ate. What Nuts and like man. berries and shit. They want pizza. Here's the thing. These rats eat pizza a shit. human diet, dude. Here's the thing. Do you know the difference between rats and humans? What? Well, really not much. They eat anything. They <laughs> rats eat, eat each other. anything. That's right. Yes. They'll eat each, each other. other. Rats. Yeah. And we will too after that last apocalyptic scene happened. I could probably eat a human. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some, I mean, some tasty your, looking motherfuckers out here. fingernails and toenails, but I'm not eating. I'm not eating you. fingernails Nah, this right here, that thigh meat. Oh, no, yeah. You'll fuck that up. That'd be good. Some bacon. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You'll fuck that up. for sure. Maybe. I'll probably go for the eyeballs. Nah. Nah, man. Why nah, would you man. eat the worst shit? You don't want to just have meat? You don't want to have like a hunk of meat? I can't see myself eating somebody's arm. I'm now, all of this dude. is gone, bro. These thighs yeah. and them buttocks. Bro, the you, buttocks. You thick motherfuckers <laughs> getting it. Y'all think, think trick daddy right, out here eating booty. That's ham. Wait till the apocalypse. <laughs> that's all that is a ham. What? That's what um ham is. The, that's the, right. The, the, yeah, uh, that's right. bro. We're going to eat it. Don't yeah. what? <laughs> Listen, when the apocalypse happens, it's going down. I'm telling when you. When do you think the apocalypse is going to happen? Uh, probably not in our lifetime, but I mean, I can see it happening in like our great grandkids' lifetime. No, it's so good. Happen. Right now, I believe it's going to get worse before it get better. I don't think it's getting better, bro. It's I already better. It's beautiful today. Look at today. No. no, I'm talking about just the whole COVID and everything else going on. I think it's going to get a little nah, bit no, worse. No, it's nah, nah. We getting we getting worse than that. It's going to be more diseases than COVID. Wait till that goddamn permafrost. What do you call it? The permafrost uh, shit start happening God. and the, the glaciers start melting. Stop and those viruses start coming up. Get out of here, bro, Andrew. 
The, it's happened before. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, listen, we yeah. are the dinosaurs. Nah, nah. Explain what you're talking about, because this is, is actually interesting. Oh, let me Google it. I don't want to. I'll explain. So basically, <laughs> there's all these animals, right? That we know mm -hmm. that are locked in the permafrost. That are no like viruses. Well, no animals is first, right? We understand that they exist, right? They were frozen yeah. in time, That's right? Great. We That's see it. Okay, you sometimes you see it with fucking like wildebeest and shit. Not even wildebeest, woolly mammoth or whatever like that, right? They're just locked what? in a glacier. Captain America, Captain America, yeah. etc. So what some people also believe that that is that there are viruses They're that are also hidden in ice. locked in the ice. That's right. right. That's why we and need to learn. yeah, so. Once the ice thaws out, those diseases and viruses could also exist. The permafrost pandemic. True, nah, I don't, I don't buy it. The melting Arctic could release some deadly diseases. Yeah, but the glacier's already breaking off every single year. Like, the yeah. ice has been melting for a minute. Nothing really That's bad right, happened. Don't, we don't know from. if it is or not. Nah, it bro. just ain't made its way over here. It might be on some pigeon carrier shit, bro. It's nah, coming. Bro. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't fuck with the, the, what's it called? The, like, catastrophic thinking like that. Because but, it's so easy to think catastrophically, right? Like you could always say, yeah, at one time in the future, some crazy shit's going to happen and then you die before it happens and then nobody goes, you don't see, know. you're wrong. Always but, be prepared. But here's though. the thing. We act like these things haven't happened before. In light of history, the earth has showed us that sometimes, you know, the life here nucks a little bit and they got to buck and get people the fuck out of here. Wait, why do you believe that? What do you mean? That those things happen. That's true. But the dinosaurs, dinosaurs existed at one point. You know what I mean? And not even just dinosaurs. We, we're we alive now and we see species going extinct for whatever reason. Yeah, species yeah. goes extinct. Yeah, you know? hey, we, we are just a species. Well, well do you think a dinosaur would have taken a vaccine if it would have saved them? Uh, no, because according to the TV show on, uh, <laughs> according to the TV I'm show, saying, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, bro. Definitely you don't think not. they would have taken that vaccine? Nah, because according Johnson, to the, Johnson? if you've seen the sitcom on dinosaurs, they were so irresponsible. That show is genius. You should so, really... You not, should really watch it, bro. So not taking a vaccine is, is 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 that irresponsible? Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, if it's something that could save your life. Cause I mean, listen, if you're one of those people that believe the vaccine was man made, which it probably is. I mean, the vaccine is man made. Okay. So the only <laughs> thing that who else made it? <laughs> you, gotta say, no, you got a lot of people that think it came from, you know, nature, like animals doing Oh, really? Vaccine? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. vaccine or the oh, not the vaccine, the virus. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. My bad, my bad. The virus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the so, so if the virus is man made, I don't think nothing holistic is gonna be able to cure it or help you prevent prevent you from getting it. Like if it's a man-made disease, only a man-made man -made. cure. Yeah. So yes, in that case, take the goddamn vaccine. Yeah, I think it was man-made. 100%. I mean, listen, when John Stewart was on Colbert's show, I never even had heard of the Wuhan Respiratory Laboratory. But... I mean, now, if it's, there's a Wuhan Respiratory Laboratory and, it comes and there's out a disease Wuhan, like, yeah. called the Wuhan Respiratory Disease or whatever the fuck it's called, one plus one don't e equals two in this equation, right? Yes, it does. So, yes, if the disease is man-made, yeah, take a man-made cure for it. And you heard what happened? Like, uh, but it's they not had a like cure, the, uh, They're not saying it's a cure for it. It's just saying that it's, it's a prevention. It helps you fight yeah, it. Yeah. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a big Band-Aid. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, maybe. Sure. Maybe a little better than a Band-Aid. A cast. Hey, maybe. A cast will help you from breaking your arm again, but it won't stop your arm I from maybe hurting. I a pair of Tim's when you walk in the rain. Fair enough. A hey, pair yo, of Tim's I, for construction, some hard toes. Listen, I'm not an anti-vaxxer by any means, but it is very, it's getting more and more difficult to convince people to take this vaccine. Why, why? Just because they <laughs> see people getting the vaccine and still getting COVID. They see people still, still getting hospitalized. It. They see people still dying. You had yeah. two FDA, two high-ranking officials in the FDA resigned this week because they say the Biden administration jumped the gun and fucking, you know, put the booster shots out there without their approval. It's like... Really? You didn't see that? Did you oh, take yeah. the booster? What? You boosted? No. Okay, respect. Well, I already had COVID and I got the vaccine. Respect. <laughs> respect. <laughs> respect for being irresponsible. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> no, the way I look at it is the vaccine is my booster. Okay. I had COVID, so I got the antibodies and now I got the vaccine on top of the antibodies, so that's my third shot. I see what you're saying. Are people really getting the vaccine to prevent sickness or are they getting the vaccine so they can do stuff? Go to dinner. That's, I, that's the that's only that's reason right. I got it. I want to go to dinner. <laughs> as long, if it's a two-shot minimum, you good. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a two-shot minimum, that's what it is. And like, like it's the two-shot minimum to get in here. Nah, for real, that's all I care about. I want to have I'm a normal sure. life. I want to I'm go sure. to dinner. I didn't go fuck about anything else. You just being honest. Everybody else act like, oh, my God, I want to be around this person. And they also think they act like they're doing it for other people. I'm doing this for everyone else. No, you're not. Say thank you. Yeah, yeah. I do actually make y'all say thank you yeah. Who is y'all? <laughs> y'all too. Y'all not vaxxed. Asked every time it is. <laughs> you not vaxxed. You're welcome, bro. I opened up the country for y'all. You're welcome. You I'm, like not a, I'm, shit? I'm not an anti-vaxxer. Have, an anti have you gotten vaxxed yet? I went three times and left. <laughs> <laughs>
I went three times and left, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't yeah, said I haven't said this nowhere. I went three times and left. I went three times and left, bro. Every time I get there, it's just like, bro, goddamn, bro. It's like the panic attacks kick yeah, in. Yeah. It's, and it's always some weird shit. Like the first time I went. What are you worried is gonna happen? Let me tell you what happened. Yeah. I went, I went with, <laughs> me and my daughter, I take I take my 13-year-old daughter like two weeks ago, yeah, right? Yeah. So we go in. Oh, please, like, right? Please, like. Listen, go, go, listen. Go. So we go in. Find out you let her get back, and not you. No, she no, 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 hell no. Okay. So, okay. We, so, so we went in, and um, you know, uh, they was like, "Yo, your daughter needs ID." I'm like, "Needs ID? She's 13. Why does she need ID?" Right? I'm she never, had no driver license. Exactly. And, and then, but yeah. they was like, "Does she have a passport?" Ironically, my wife had sent off with the her to renew her passport like a month prior, so they weren't in yet. Ah. Uh, and so we didn't. I didn't have her new passport, and then um, I literally looked down at my phone, and this is the day that they announced. CDC is saying you got to have a boost. So in my mind, I'm like, sign, right? I'm getting the fuck out of here. So we left. And then I'm like, I'm going to stick to my original plan. I'm going to get it when it's FDA approved. I went, um, after it was FDA approved that weekend, I went that Tuesday. Sitting in the doctor's office, they bring the consent form in. Reading the consent form, the consent form still says it's only authorized for emergency use. So I'm like, ma'am, where's the updated consent form? Yes. And she's like, Oh, we don't have him yet. She was like, but I can scratch it out in initial. And I'm like, nope, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, right? You wouldn't do that anywhere else. No. Yeah, yeah. You, if you were signing a TV deal or a radio yeah. deal or yeah. a contract to go on tour, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. let the guy just scratch something out. You're like, you're loyal or red line, but then they still got to send the official do documents back, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I go back that Saturday. They already assured me everything. And I told him, I said, I want to see the vaccine going to syringe. I want to yeah, see you like put the goddamn yeah, syringe in there. Oh, shit cooked. by the way, yeah, they had it all set up for me. They had it. They had it set up for me. They had it in there. They had it. They, they, they put the syringe out in front of me. But then they gave me two forms. They gave me one form that had all the fact sheets, right? Saying it's FDA approved, everything else. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the consent form still said not authorized for emergency use. And I was like, well, what's up with the updated consent forms? The guy said to me, you don't even have to sign a consent form. And I said, wait a minute. I don't even have to sign a consent form. Wait, so you just want me this shit in my body. That don't even... So I, I was that's like, so up. who's liable? i like, what if I leave here and say, I didn't know what me and my daughter were taking? Like that, for, for a medical professional to say that to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this don't seem right. Well, nobody's liable. What do you, you mean? You can't sue them, even if some shit fucked up happens to you. Even now that it's FDA approved? Even now that it's FDA approved? You sure? Yeah, because nah. it's a... I think that's the deal with it, right? Nah, because it's a cool, global bro. pandemic. Nah. It's like an act of God. And nah, it's FDA nah. approved. No, nah, it's not emergency use. When it's emergency use, yeah, and it says all of that on the use, sheet. You can't sue. Oh, maybe yeah. that's but why it, they don't want to get rid of the emergency use. Yeah, but, but even still, I can say lawsuits. anything because I didn't sign a consent. You don't even, I don't even know what I took. Yeah. yeah. So why would a doctor want to do that? Like, why would a doctor not want me to sign some type of consent form? Well, if they can't be sued, they don't care. The, the consent form is to protect them. Yeah, like from a, a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that works. I don't know what it is, but yeah, that's my story. Well, now when you get it, it's going to fuck you up. <laughs> because God gave you three times to get it where it was good, and you said no all three times. So now guys like, all right, no, bet. I'm, bet. I'm, listen, this is what's going to happen to you. Guaranteed. The only thing up. I can listen to is my discernment. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not an anti vaxxer I'm, 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 I'm probably going to end up getting the vaccine. It's you just are. that I was scared to death. You're going to get the vaccine. It's going to turn you white. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen and I can't wait it's gonna be so funny like immediately your pigment's gonna start going away you're gonna turn into a fucking you white man to it's gonna be great I love Let's it this is beach. hilarious what? yes yes but, I, but I, I, I have been like you know I'm, I'm like I, I, I don't see the need I don't see the reason not to get it because my mind really says I think this is a man made disease yeah, it is so a man-made man disease. Man disease yeah. and you got to go yeah. get the man-made right, But what is it actually doing is, is you're putting it in you to build your immune system. It's not actually there to like cure anything. I don't care how much CMOS you take. If somebody poisons you, your immune system can't fight it. Though. All right, so you're going to die anyway. I don't care if you put the vaccine, you're going to still die. It's not saying it's going to prevent anything. It's putting a fucking Band-Aid on it. You're still shot. No. What put, I'm, it like I'm, this. no. put it like this. It's... Uh, you can still get shot. It's like lifting weights. Like if you take mm -hmm. steroids, it's going to be easier for you to build muscle and lift more weights. So yes. the vaccine. What's the side effects? That's what we're scared of. Yeah. What's the side effects of the steroids? You look great. <laughs> no, no, you look you great. You get more bitches. You, start you look great. Up. Get more bitches. You start going crazy. Yeah, and this start, shit is beating COVID. You're still up. using the B word, bro. What? In 2021? Yes, a lot. But you Damn. said beating people up. I use it a lot. I never. I lost. <laughs> you never use it? No, I know I did. Really? I thought you said beating people up. 
Oh no no bitches we were talking oh, about. You really just word. stopped using that word? Yeah, yes. I don't say that. I got three hundred percent. Yeah, nobody says that. No wait, more. how many daughters do you have? Three. I can't wait till you have a daughter. Why? The same way you can't wait for me to get the vaccine, I can't wait till you have a daughter. He gonna be. The, he's gonna turn into a pro woman. <laughs> yes. 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 Duh. Yeah. Duh. Y'all didn't know that I do this. My daughter. I flip flop, bro. That's right. That's right. That's right. over here. No, yes. nothing my impact daughter. Andrew until it impacts Andrew. Hundred percent. Give a fuck about the rest of the world. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. Watch I go down to my basement, see all my shit fucked up. I be like, yo, climate, climate change, change is real. Is real. <laughs> we need to start taking this shit serious Okay We need to start listening to these bitches I mean ladies talk about the climate being so fucked up Hilarious Hilarious But um, Yeah like I said I'm not anti-vax Nah I'm just Just make it make more sense I'm It, it makes a lot of sense to me now I'm pro-vax When you do research yeah. And like step back And like actually talk to doctors And different yeah, stuff I don't do And plus that. I just really feel like This is a man-made disease And it I think a, a man-made disease Is gonna need man-made prevention Listen Have you guys ever gotten ate out? Yeah <laughs> <laughs> You ever gotten ate out, Wax? I don't know if you call it eating out But It's definitely called eating out Have you ever Have you ever gotten your ass licked? Yeah but that's not like yeah you got out. Eat you got eight out. It's not eating out. Did the girl spread your thighs like that and then like <laughs> did she spread that meat? We gonna eat in the apocalypse? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not like you can't eat out. Eating out is different. That what fucking you mean? chorizo. Eating out was like going out to eat. Have like, you ever ate a girl out? Yeah, my girl. How do you eat her out? You go down there and lick, right? But you eat out like you eating. Something inside, but and she and, who, and, whoever, and whoever put their tongue in your ass, they're you not out. putting it in my ass. That's what I'm trying to say. They what are they doing? But they licked your cheeks. I don't know. Just lick. Then just say so nobody just it. licks the, the outside of a tooth. Nobody pop. is putting yeah. their tongue in my ass. They don't make That's it really hard. Out. Did she lick inside the cheeks? Yeah, but not inside. You got my eight ass. out, bro. Yeah, no, you got eight out. No, I put like this. You got eight out. So if they are a guy that gets eaten out. Are you still a virgin? <laughs> so you, put, you, you put your meat on, on just on a vagina like this. We're not talking about meat. We're talking tip. about the tongue. Just the tip. Just the tip is sex. Have you ever put your tongue in a vagina hole? Inside the hole, yeah. And yeah. have you ever licked outside of the hole, like just around the walls and everything else? <laughs> that woman can still say you ate her out. You got eight out. It's okay, You got eight man. out. You licked her pussy. You didn't eat her out. Man... I you got, got my eight ass out, bro. Licked, but I didn't get eight out. No, you got eight out. What's wrong with why you got eight so, out? Was putting your tongue inside. You inside never had a tongue ass. inside your butthole. No, I've had a tongue inside my butthole. Yeah. Shark tongue. Yeah, it was like you know, like uh, you know, <laughs> no, no, you know, like the T one thousand when he turns his hand into like that pointy thing. Yeah, I feel like that's what she did with her tongue, and then she just kind of like penetrated my butt lips a little bit. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Sure that was a tongue. You sure Say it was a tongue? Maybe it was something else. Maybe it was a finger or something like that. I've never had a finger in me, but they've tried. But uh, I don't believe in the finger. But if the tongue can get in there a little bit, then God bless you. It's amazing how messaging is really the most important thing because, yeah, yeah. but it should be the action, right? Because if you're so upset about the wording of something like, yeah. oh, man, ain't no girl ever ate me out. They lick my ass. What's the difference? Yeah, What's, yeah, yeah. What's the difference? difference? Yeah, you got it. It's like out. going out to eat and being at home to eat. I never no, got, it's not. It's not. making dinner at home and going out to nah, eat. No, 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 it's not. Thing. This yes, is it. Is. This no, is not. Home to eat is just licking the ass. No, it's not. Putting your tongue in the ass is going out to eat. No, go, right. that's like saying uh, that's like saying uh, going out to eat and being out to eat. It's the same <laughs> shit. Yeah, no. it's the same thing. Yes, it is. Somebody stay at home. You been on all fours and got eight now? No, that's what I'm saying. That's going out. You going out? You going out your way to do shit? Have you been on all fours and got eight now? No. That's what I'm saying. If you so you on your back your and way, got it out. Back, like with your legs up. Yes. Yeah, like, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a fucking, like a fucking man. toddler. Just <laughs> Google got out. Google like, got out. Like it's a mistake. Like you just went to the balls and you just, you slid down a little bit. I don't act like That's it's nothing. That's what you do. Wait, like, go that one. Go up, out, go up, out, go up, out. Right, oh, that right there, Taylor. That one right there. Who is that, Nikki? <laughs> no, Nikki. Is that Nikki? That's wild. Yeah, that one right there. Have you ever That's had that position? Wow. You never did that? <laughs> Yo, you ain't never got eaten out unless you did that. On your elbows. That's what I'm saying. You never been on your elbows? Listen, that, that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Knees and elbows. This is going out your way. When I say you got eaten out, have you ever you been on your, your knees and elbows, so. just got your ass never. licked? By the way, that's oh, that's a position for women. And the reason that's a position yeah, for women, because when a woman is like a woman is like that, you could do so much back there. Yeah. Guys yeah. don't really yeah. got all nah, that. if you're on your knees and elbows and a girl just blows in your asshole like a snapper bottle and then just makes a little sound come out. You never had that happen? Way too loose of a sound come out, <laughs> or she's really good at blowing. Not a, not too much of a sound, just a little. That's like that. open. <laughs> uh, ooh is like that. Uh, ooh. <laughs> uh, ooh is like ooh. that. Ooh. Be like young ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you never had to go down there and 
was just like, go hard. Nah, that's kind of wild. Now, that's right there, wild. that's you. That's nah, wild. Nah, nah, that's wild. That's wild. Nah. That's Come on, out bro. of control. Why is that out of control, that's man? Wild. He looks in control. <laughs> that's wild. He ready. That's wild. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> He's By not the way, in control. I don't know why people are, are like, I, stop kink shaming. It's horrible decisions. Yeah, you gotta, you why gotta is it just kinky? do it like it's a mistake. You got to just do it like you, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean? You bend down, you sucking your balls, you just... You know what I'm saying? Scoot down a little bit. Let her do her thing. So but you, you like getting made out. over here like wait, wait, this. You, get you like getting made out. Nah, you're not going ahead throwing your fucking legs back up in here. Wow. You like out. getting made out. You just gave a whole tutorial yeah. on how to get it done. Yo, if you if you just want to chill and do it, you ain't listen. <laughs> you just want somebody to <laughs> bend over, <laughs> yeah. turn around. She might look at you. What the fuck are you doing? No, on your elbows. That's and get your phone in your you hand like that. You want to be comfortable. You could be on your phone. <laughs> you could so be on stupid. your phone just Certain texting. I just can't, I look stupid doing. You huh? see what I'm saying? You look stupid, you look stupid getting down. Like, like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy, bro. You're a wild boy. You're a wild boy. That's crazy. Imagine waxing Tim. I just wanted to be an accident. Me on an accident. I just wanted to be an accident. We do want you to be accident on purpose, right? Come on. You got to eat us out like oops. Like you got to take a long oh, leg, eat us out. The human brain like, is yeah. amazing, bro. The human brain is amazing because at the end of the day, if yeah. you want something, just get it done. Like, yeah. why do you have to convince yourself either with wording or a certain action? I want yeah. it to be an accident. If you like nah, it, just get it done. You like it? You like getting penetrated? Nah. But wait, are you sure? Positive. But on this podcast, you say you've been penetrated. That don't mean I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Where was I? <laughs> I never said I liked it. I just, we was having conversations. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Out of this world. What are you talking about? He, what, what, what is penetration? Fingers, fingers, fingers in the booty hole. Penetration. Nah, fingers broke. What? I don't even. I don't even, I don't even think somebody. I I wait, 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 wait. What'd you just say? What'd you just say? I got to grease my ass to fart. How the fuck is somebody putting something? You got to grease your, your ass, ass to fart? fart? I'm just Hold saying. Hold on. Like, what? How, how do you grease it? How do you grease it? How do you grease it? Just say. You got Afro glass. What's that shit called? This guy's wild. Vaseline. Are you fingering yourself just to fart? No, I'm just saying. No, hold on. Is that tight? I got to grease my ass to fart. That's what I'm just. I'm just saying. The knowledge. Yeah, we know you said it. We know you said it. I we don't even know that was an what analogy. It <laughs> no, it's I don't not. think that was an analogy. You're just describing bro. what you need. So you grease your ass just to fart? I'm just saying that's how tight my shit. You don't got to make any excuses. We your boys, fingers. man. If you want to grease your ass for whatever reason, <laughs> wax that is your business. I am not a kink shamer. Okay, I think whatever people do in the bedroom is their business. If you want to get eight out, fine. And if you I want a girl to put a finger back there, fine. Like yeah. I said, if I'm, you want to grease your ass for whatever reason, fine. <laughs> Listen, you, hey, what do you always say? Put the asshole. You don't Vaseline. practice bad habits, right? Oh, <laughs> so you can't. No. Remember Vaseline? Put your asshole in front of the air conditioner. Remember he used to always say he would do that. No. Or put the co the, no, the, the icy cold, hot. the icy hot. Is that? Are you greasing no, your ass I like that? No way. I didn't put icy hot in my ass. It's just I just said it. It's just like that's how tight my ass is. It's like nothing never been in and out, but shit. You are turning on some men right now. There are some, <laughs> there, there are some men out there right now that are so turned on. Listen, man, They've like been I waiting said, to hear that. Unless you, unless you actually go out. <laughs> They've your been way. watching this podcast like wax. Like he got a tight butthole. Now it has been Why would confirmed. They want that? Why don't they want that? There's gonna be a whole Reddit thread about how tight your butthole possibly is. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's tighter? Wax his butthole or his pants he wears every week? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you can't take these shit off. Good. <clears throat> that is interesting, though. Bragging about how tight your butthole is. Word. Bragging about how tight your butthole is, you think as a, as a straight dude, it makes you more straight, but it probably turns on. The gay dudes. I guess, yeah. You because women girl, brag girl, about like, how tight, tight their poom poom is. is. And we're like, oh, God, That's I want to feel what, what I'm that saying. is. Yeah. So you're out here kind of flirting after you said you like to get ate out. Now, and, I, and like I said, I never went out my way to like bend over and get, never went out my way to do something. So I never got ate out. If you it definitely accidentally got accidentally out. happened, you got ate out. I was <laughs> home and I seen you got I ate played out, the food there, you got ate out, I might have ate the food you that was there. You got ate out. This sounds like a, there's a young lady that, never mind. All Come I'm saying, on. No. What? Remember when know. that girl showed me that picture of you? I, I know it's a lot. And you was down there. He's going. I tried to, no, I tried to put a red light before. You was down there with you the hat on backwards. Light. You know what I'm saying? And you was lying to me about how you didn't munch. And I she did. showed me I, you I, munching. I, There's I a picture? Listen. Yes, and he was like, I just gave it a couple of licks. Same difference. Yeah. Same yeah. way that woman I can claim. You that same way, same yeah. way that woman can claim you ate her out. You got ate out, bro. She never told him that. 
We never even had camera phones back right. then. Okay. If if it was, it was a Polaroid right. picture. Now you she think I'm gonna really let her Polaroid me like this? It's like ching ching right. and the thing. Come if on. She out. Tell this, if she tell this story on her <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Huh? But if she tell this story on her podcast, she still got that picture, bro. <laughs> she still got the picture. She still got that. What's picture, the picture? Bro. What's the podcast? I want to say. <laughs> Does it rhyme with Ram Wham? Call up, 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 call up. Try to do something good around it so you don't cut it. Look at the time. Can we talk about um? Can we talk about how amazing this Drake rollout is? Well, yeah, let's do it. Not just Drake, though. What? Kanye's rollout was amazing too, Man. bro. No, y'all are bugging. Yeah. Let me let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why Kanye's Snooze rollout was fest. amazing. No way. Snooze oh. fest. I'll tell you why. Kanye, by, by the way, before we get talking about the album, let's just talk about Kanye's rollout. <laughs> and I said this before, the rollout was incredible for a few reasons. Number one, it was named after his mom, right? So if you're putting yeah. out an album that's in honor of your mother who's deceased, your mother, even if she was alive, you know, you would want to, 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 to you want it to be the best it could be musically, mm -hmm. and you want to raise the most awareness around it as possible, mm. right? He did that. He did he those two did listening that. parties at the Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Why is that significant? Because he was born in Atlanta, right? Then he did one in Chicago. Why is that significant? Because he was raised in Chicago. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And he built mm -hmm. his child, his mom's childhood home in Chicago. Those listening sessions alone built so much anticipation for the Donda album because this album was not in the conversation for anticipated albums of the year, bro. Mm -hmm. And now for the past three weeks, we've been talking about it in reference to CLB, which has absolutely been one of the most anticipated albums for the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. So Kanye, with his rollout, doing those listening sessions, put himself in that conversation. And I mean, damn, even, even though I think the album is lackluster, he's about to, what, do 350,000 this week and he's breaking all type of streaming records mm -hmm. and everything else. So that shit worked. Rollouts matter. I'm just happy that rollouts are back. J. Cole had a, a, a nice little rollout earlier this year. But what Drake and Kanye are doing right now, I think it's incredible. I like, okay, so positives are, I like the fact that they found a way to get people excited about a whole album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we were done with albums, mm -hmm. right? And I thought it was yeah. just like, release a song every month for the whole year and just get people hyped about the song, just make it about the single, because mm -hmm. that's what it really is. Um, the fact that there was competition between Drake and Kanye, I thought that they were in cahoots because that really bolstered the interest you got the the audio that really bolstered the interest uh, uh, in, in both of their albums because we're like, okay, well now I'm going to compare one to the other. This is going to be yeah. fire. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to Drake's even if I don't like Drake, just to make sure as a Kanye fan that Kanye's was better than Drake. So now you got your haters also listening to your music exactly. and vice versa, right? Mm -hmm. My only issue with the Kanye thing is like for me it lost momentum. It was like keep on pushing it back. I was like, oh, after the first one, oh, that's kind of cool. Second one, all right, less people were there. Third one, Chicago. I was like, I don't even care if the album's out. Uh, and then I listened to it and I was like, all right, this is kind of fine. Maybe a couple songs. The streaming numbers are cool, but at the same time, like you can game streaming by doing more songs because it's just total streams, mm -hmm. right? So it's like you put 26 songs, you essentially put out two albums, you divide the streams by two, and now it's just regular streaming so numbers smart. for an album. So there's ways to get around the yeah. system. So He like, definitely didn't lose momentum though. I mean, Kanye literally owned the conversation for the past two weeks from hip hop news to regular pop culture news. The Chicago one was probably the most talked about. Not in my circles, I'll be honest. Because he bought out Marilyn Manson, because he bought out the baby, you know what I mean? Like, it was just all of this different controversy. People didn't know whether he took Jay-Z off the album or not. My girl like, didn't even know he released an album. I'm just, and this is what happens when we're in our little ecosystems. Like, mm -hmm. shit is so popular, right? Like, this is the the little baby effect that we were talking about. Like, in if you're a hip-hop fan, you think little baby's the biggest thing in the genre. But mm -hmm. it, the casuals don't know who little baby is, Kanye's right? not casual, though. Kanye, no, 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 Kanye's yeah, not. Yeah. Kanye's not. But like my girl didn't even know he was dropping an album. So like clearly it's not resonating out of sight of a certain thing. What you were saying about like he built up, he became one of the most, you know, coveted uh, releases anticipated of the, albums, anticipated yeah. albums. It's like anytime Kanye drops, it's anticipated. Nah. Like I don't think he got to put himself in a conversation. Nah. He's Kanye. Not like this. Last Son, he drops a sneaker, people go crazy. Like sneaker, an album? But his last few albums haven't done that. Ye didn't do that. Jesus is King didn't really do that. Even mm. though, even though, you know, they I think both of them debuted at number one. They came and went. They were like farts, bro. You know what I mean? Like, we don't know if this is gonna leave. I bet I think CLB is gonna come out and push this shit out of the fucking stratosphere. Like it depends on Drake. I 
Depends on Drake. And I'll tell you why it depends on Drake, because it depends on the music. I think the only reason Kanye's album now, even though people are still talking about it this week, the only reason it's lost momentum is because the conversation has shifted to, ah, uh, the music is, is lackluster. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's the song? Like, what's the one where you're like, oh my God, this is straight fire? My favorite song on the album is oh. Jesus is Lord. The version with yeah. the locks and um, Jay Electronica. And it's actually 11 minutes long on the oh, album. Oh, God. I just think, I just think for, for me, Kanye's album is, it's an hour and 48 minutes. It's, it's, it's too long. And it's just, it's just lackluster. It lacks some seasoning. You know, you know what Kanye's album reminds me of? It reminds me of like, you know those people that make those big cakes? Like I could, I could literally make a cake that looks like wax, and it'll it be so no detailed. Taste, yeah. No yeah. taste, no taste. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just okay. Like you eat it, and you like. I mean, it looks good. The, Tim's the presentation good, was great. That's great. You know what I mean? The That's presentation great. looks great. Yeah. The presentation was great, but that, it's so. okay. It's just, it's just cool. Yeah. It's just very lackluster to me. You know, yeah. I, I'm not. I don't know. It's just Glasses Malone had a good point. Glasses Malone said like, it it doesn't have any culture to it. Mm. Like it's no, it's like it's no. It's no seasoning. Who is he speaking to? to? What is the ethos? What yeah, is the message? Like, yeah, like put it out for everybody though. Like again, I don't know what Drake's talking about, but like I like the branding. But certified lover boy, he is a bachelor, right? He's single. He's out here in the world. Is he dating this girl? Is he dating that girl? What's going on? Like calling yourself a certified lover boy, and you got like the art even leans into it. Like oh, maybe it's pregnancy season. Some girls got to get knocked up, or girls yeah. are gonna get knocked up. Listen, it's like there's a vibe, there's an energy, there's a there's a movement to the album and to the Kanye thing. It was just like. I'm extravagant. Like, yeah. look how extravagant I can be with these things. Yes. Listen to me. Just listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Like, what's the ethos? What do you have to say? Like, I always think about it with like comedy, about with yeah. anything. Like, what is the messaging? What are you all doing? over the place, which yeah. is fine. You know what I mean? But it's like for every platform. It's yeah. What you want to do. Yeah. And Drake, the album cover. That's genius. You know what I mean? And, and, and maybe, maybe we throw the word genius around. Yeah. And I thought the album was fine. But I'm gonna tell you why. The no, cover. I'm gonna tell you why I thought the cover was. Yeah. Dope. Why was it? Because Kanye didn't even have a cover. So Kanye is just sure. black, right? Yeah, it's just a black yeah, square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Drake is like, I'm going to just give you all these 13 emojis. We don't know what that shit mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and it's almost like, it, it reminds me of what he did with If You're Reading This Too Late because you saw that cover and you're like, yeah. what is this basic ass shit? But then it became like an amazing meme all over social media because yeah. everybody used that font to say different things. Yeah. And it's just, it seems like it's the same thing with this. Lil Nas yeah. X used it. I saw yeah. Michelle Obama's We All Vote, yeah. you know, team used it. Like I see different people using it. So it's just like, that keeps the conversation going. Yeah. It's also even like little things Drake is doing that's just like... The billboards. The, the, billboard the billboards is amazing. are amazing. Now, the billboard is definitely a one-up to Kanye, and i tell you why. Kanye got mad features on his album. Mm. Yeah. He ain't even let y'all perform at the listening party. <laughs> well, yeah. the, baby, the baby did for a second. And you know he didn't I mean? even put the names on the songs. He didn't even put the names on the songs. Which is disrespectful. <laughs> like, like, I didn't come see on, that either. Like, I was looking, you didn't see it? I'm looking no, I for, saw it on the album. I'm like, where's the features? Because I'm looking amazing. for the Fabio one, the the off the grid. And I was like, all right, which one is it? That's right. Uh, and which was fire. His verse on that shit was fire. He killed it. Oh, killed my it. God. Killed it. Fabio Out of here. showed up. Roddy Rich yeah. showed up. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's records on there I really like. It's like Jay six, showed up, obviously. Jay definitely showed. It's like six, seven songs I really like. But goddamn, can and you show your people that's featured more love? Yet? A little bit of love. <laughs> Why is it always got to be about you? It's all so, about him. But if imagine this. So you said there's like six songs, right? Yeah. Imagine it was a twelve song album. That's what that's I said. Half of that shit go. Dope. There's a great album Dope. inside that. I went 48 yeah. minutes. But you want to game, down. You want to game the streaming numbers so you could get those fu fucking accolades instead of put out the project that, the, that is absolutely fire. I, as a matter of fact, I hope Drake shit is short. I hope Drake shit is like 12 songs. Everyone is just a fucking haymaker. And that is going to be the biggest fuck you. It's yeah. Like, I mean, what, but what, then day, what day do it come out? Fri tomorrow, Friday. Yeah, the, the third. Day tomorrow. The the Tonight, day the actually. If we, if we, if we drop yeah, this podcast yeah. at Thursday... Because Andrew didn't say too much wild shit. <laughs> It'll be out by the time you hear this. But yeah, I mean, it's, it really all boils down to the music. Because another thing that Drake did that's super smart. Drake has been in competition with Drake for a long time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Whenever guys like Kendrick them take a step back and don't put out music, you know, Cole puts out music. But I think I think it's pretty safe to say, you know, it's, it's a back and forth for the past 10 years of who's one and two, Drake and Kendrick. I think it's safe to say that. Right. I mean, in, in terms of like the best lyricist or like the most uh, I think all successful of it. I think lyricist uh, impact, like just who's nobody's even coming close to 
to Drake. Like, I'm sorry. And then, uh, we say that, again, but then we you act guys, like you guys, are, you guys are so close, right? So you probably are judging different things like, act, you know, bars, impact culturally, all that kind of stuff. Just from the outside, like, uh, honestly, you can't put anybody in Drake's stratosphere. That's not true. And I'll tell you why, because whenever Kendrick drops- Bieber, you could put Bieber there like that. Like, it, yo, that's who you're comparing when, him whenever to. Whenever Kendrick drops, commercially and critically, he runs shit. Ken mm -hmm. Kendrick is on the front of the, the, the big magazines. Kendrick gets so all the Grammys. Kendrick is fire. Is. Kendrick is like next level. It's unbelievable. Don't get me wrong. Big right? dog. He is unbelievable. And like true artists about it. Like you're looking at the guy like, wow, this guy really is big dog. obsessed with the art. It's really cool to see that, right? Big dog. That being said, he's not penetrating the casuals in the way that Drake is. Like the white girls that are in their 20s, are not fucking with Kendrick in the way that they're fucking with Drake. I don't know, bro. Kendrick shows be crazy. Kendrick shows literally be like very diverse crowds, just like Drake shows. I, I mean, mean, yeah, if, if all top rappers are diverse crowds. So yeah, they, they, Kendrick a little. I, I think we don't give Kendrick enough credit because he's not on the scene as much. Yeah, and I think he takes too many breaks. He take a long when he. It's, it's, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. But mm -hmm. when you think about when he's out, he shifts culture. Yeah, like Kendrick owns shit when he's out. Put it this way, it's like. Um, do you, like a what's that JL Balvin or whatever is that the name of the artist okay. Spanish Spanish, yeah. Spanish artist JL Balvin like no that's not his name JL Balvin J, J, J Balvin uh, J, J Balvin, Balvin. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the fucking I, I mean, come on bro I'm not listening to music my point is like like he's on a different level right like he's like um like the way that his tickets were moving and all of those types of things like he's on like that super super superstar status within that community right mm -hmm. i feel like that's that's what drake is doing and i feel like there's probably another artist that exists within that kind of spanish rap genre who bad is bad bunny okay so maybe bad bunny is the yeah, i think Kendrick. bad bunny no, 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 might be guy. bigger right yeah because i don't even yeah. know the other oh, so guy. then vice versa i'm just trying to put it into another type of music where it's just like drake is is, is um drake just, is listen bro drake is huge but yeah, all i'm saying like, is there's nothing there's nothing kendrick when Kendrick drops, there's nothing Drake is doing now that Kendrick won't be doing commercially. Like literally all the same late night talk shows if they choose to, all the same magazine covers if they choose to, same type of venues if they choose to. Kendrick is a big deal, bro. No, no, I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying there are levels and I think that Drake is on another level. Like, more consistent. That's all. It's all it is. That he's more consistent musically, but Kendrick got mad Grammys. Kendrick yeah, literally no shifts culture when he comes out. Not even just on some... Rap shit on some music shit. Right, right, right. I just, I mean, listen, it's no doubt. I'm not saying I'm curious it. what Kendrick would think. Like, I'm curious if we ask Kendrick and we're like, hey, who do you just he think? He told is you last week. <laughs> now he said, I'm nicer. No, he said, I'm top five. And he said, matter of fact, I'm that guy. And then baby Kim says, number two keeps texting my bitch. I don't even ask why. Keeps DMing my bitch. Mm. We know who the sniper is out here. Who's that? DMing everybody's girl. Who, 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 the certified who? lover boy. You think? So he's letting you know Mr. who he Still thinks is girl. number two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they let you, he's letting you know who he thinks is number two. That's why I love that uh, Drake called uh, uh, Jay Z the goat. Because that's though. yeah, but like, of course he is. But that's his way of saying like, I'm not even competing with the Coles, the Kendricks, and them. Like, my my guy is Jay Z. He let said me. that though. He said there was a song that I, I but heard. Kendrick on. is going. I'm better than that guy that people think may, that might be better than me. Drake is going, I'm not even mentioning these motherfuckers. Like, I'm talking about legacy. Like, yeah, I, put me still. in a conversation with them. Yeah, Drake said that. He said, I forgot, it's a song that was on one of the certified Love Boy leaks. He said that. He said, it's like me and then it's Jay. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know if I agree with that assessment. What did you What did you think of that thing that uh, leaked uh, with Kanye talking about uh, it's reinforcing his certified love boy status. Oh, when Kanye great. was like, "Yo, it's Kim is it. out here fucking." I mean, he, uh, Drake is out here fucking all Kim's friends. He oh. lives he, the, the greatest bachelor in the world. He lives four blocks away from my Word wife, up. and he's out here fucking all her friends. And then it goes right into the music. You, you guys haven't Amazing. heard this? I heard, I heard it. Heard oh that. my god, it's fucking wonderful. That's great. Drake is a wild boy. <laughs> wild boy. <laughs> that's one thing. That's one thing I do appreciate about Drake. He really is like a rap superstar. Like, but that's messaging. Like we were saying, that's like messaging. There's yeah. an ethos. There's a premise yeah, and it's driving it in. Yeah. And then you tap into that album. It's like an action movie. When you go listen to watch like uh, Fast and the Furious, you go, I know what I'm going here for. Yeah, I'm yeah. going here for action. So when you go into that Kanye album, I didn't know what I was expecting. I hear some like hard bars, some street shit, but then there's no curses. But then all of a sudden there's Jesus stuff. Like it's all over the there's place. There's some really terrible bars on that Kanye Like album. what? That one where he goes, um, they say Adam couldn't have been black. 
Cause Adam, cause black people don't give up their ribs, ribs, ribs. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then you put the echo on it. <laughs> that shit was hard. I'm like, telling you, Kanye's me mediocre at rap. It's amazing. We know that though. I like that part. Right. We I'm glad. That. I'm glad people are acknowledging. He make good music though. I mean, oh, one, but one the difference. One thing I say about Drake too. Drake is very smart because Drake took the conversation off it being Drake versus Drake, because that's literally what pe people keep saying. We're waiting on like a. A, a universal, undeniable, classic album from Drake. Like, at this point, Drake's only competing with himself, right? Mm, right? Mm, to your point. Mm, competing mm. with himself and, I guess, the other legendary artists out there, right? Mm. But now, Drake can drop tomorrow. All CLB got to do at this point is be better than fucking Kanye's album. And how do we, yeah. and how do we define better? Is it more streams? Because Kanye put nah, nah, nah. It's gotta be music. a whole encyclopedia nah, of gotta be music. songs on there. It's, nah, gotta, it's music. just music. It's gotta be music. We don't care about the streams. Nah, like, we know, we know Drake gonna kill it with that. Drake is going, whatever Kanye did, Drake's going to triple that. Yeah. But he might not win total streams if he puts out way less songs. Easily. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, no, dude. you know what? You're right. By the way, I don't even know how that shit works no more because I was actually having a conversation with somebody about that this week because yeah. Kanye got, four, what, 28 eight songs on there, but them shit is like four minutes a piece. I thought people made shorter songs on purpose, mm -hmm. which Drake could do. Drake could have an album that's 12 songs but they're only like two minutes, 50 seconds. And then you replay yeah. it You keep bunch. replaying that shit over and over. But Kanye got 26 songs, right? So if mm -hmm. you listen to the album all the way through, that's like listening to Drake's album twice if Drake got 13 songs yeah. on it. I don't know how that shit works, bro. I but know. that's what they're doing to gain the system. Yeah. So, so when you go, oh, the most streamed artist this year was Lil Baby or the most streamed artist this year was somebody else, you're like, oh my God, I guess he's the most listened to. But then you realize he put out four albums. So you're like, Oh, if you divide that by four, yeah, 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 yeah. maybe Justin Bieber is more. He only put out one album every two years. He still got more streams. So there's ways to gain the system, and we got to find new metrics to decide who's the most popular. I think for this is just music. I think it's gonna come down to people's ears. Like, which, yeah. like seriously, what was the better project? Yeah, because that's what it really always boils down to. We're talking about music here. The reason we anticipate Kanye still mm -hmm. all these years into the game mm -hmm. is because he's literally gave us five classics back to back to back to back to back. His, what, what Kanye did with music is like what guys like. Chappelle did with comedy. Yes. What Chris Rock did with comedy. No matter what they do, you're, Chappelle can put five minutes on YouTube right now, you're running to it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, of yeah, what yeah. he's done. Yes, yes, yes. And it's There's the same legacy, thing with Drake, yes. same thing with Kanye. We're yes. going to always check for them because of music. Same thing with a guy like Kendrick. It's about the music. Okay, so you know how they're saying that that might be the intro to the album, Kanye talking about how he's a certified lover boy. You know, he's mm -hmm. the certified bachelor. He's the best, whatever. Um, Drake being the best bachelor in the world mm -hmm. and lives down the street from his wife, et cetera. I don't think he starts the album with that. And if he does, I think that that's a mistake because it ties his album into Kanye, right? It makes the album a little bit about Kanye. It makes it about the competition. And now that's good, it's not about, it's good to drive initially, but then forever it's set in stone, right? That this album is a fuck you to Kanye. Nah, yeah. the fuck you to Kanye can be a couple lines, one or two bars, et cetera. It's still gotta be a Drake project about Drake being a certified lover boy, not a little petty beef with some person that you think that you're beyond. I think that would be a mistake if he did that. I, I th think that they, I think that they both, you said, you said that he thinks he's beyond. I don't know if he thinks he's beyond. I just think it's a, uh, I mean, I'm just sitting back, backseat driving here, but it just looks like they both are kind of envious of each other. Because I think Kanye wants what Drake has right now. Like Drake, you know, for the past 10 years has been that guy. The way Kanye was that guy at one point. You know what I mean? Um, but I think Kanye wants that. He wants that that relevant culture musically. Mm. He's got it in other areas, but I still think yeah. he wants to be that guy musically. And I think Drake, maybe, in a lot of ways, still wants to have that artistic love that that Kanye gets, you know what I mean? Because we can sit here and have conversations about Kanye having five certified classic albums. We know that. We mm. at least know, to me, college dropout, late registration, uh, graduation, 808 and Heartbreaks, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. That first five is like certified. Mm. With Drake, you know, you have discussions on, you know, does he have a classic? Doesn't he? You know, a lot of these younger kids, they say that they think So Far Gone is a classic. I, 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 would, I would probably agree with that. You mm. know, um, I hear... Uh, uh, if you're reading this, it's too late. And um, take care. A lot of the younger generation says it's classic, you know? Mm. So I don't know. I just think that they both have things that each other wants. You know what I mean? And I think they might see a lot of e themselves in e each other. Like Kanye is envious of Drake's like social ability, his, ab his ability to kind of like build friendships, yeah. communicate with people, communicate with women, <laughs> all his white friends, et cetera. And Drake might just be hurt because Kanye is like, 
Damn, bro, I look up to you. Like you was an inspiration we for so long. Sneakers. Yeah. Why? Why? Why is it this? Or maybe Drake is envious of of Kanye's artistic ability with the production of the music. Like you know, Kanye is looked at as like a real innovator and artist yeah. musically, and maybe Drake Drake isn't looked at as an innovator and artist musically as as a rapper, maybe. But the People actual still music. It. Yeah. That's what it is. They don't, we don't, we, even though you may say, yo, Kanye lost a step, whatever, whatever, we still don't question what he did. Is mm -hmm. capable of. Yeah, we, yeah, people yeah, still yeah, question yeah. Drake. They question his pen because of the ghostwriting stuff, yada, yada, yada. Even though it shouldn't matter. Yeah, he's such a yo, shame. listen. We, we, Great it's, performer. Though. He, he's one of the greatest yeah. hip hop artists to ever live. Yeah. And, 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 and probably one of the greatest artists at this point. You know mm. what I mean? I, I think so. Yeah. I, I would, like, the 10 year run is unprecedented, you know? But I just think it's like. It's so hard for me to put a rapper in like the greatest musician or artist category. Cause I'm not so musician. Yeah. Like, well, maybe, well, Kanye I, doesn't, he plays, I don't, he, he, I guess production is production is music. music. Yeah, I'm musician. just saying, like I'm thinking of like a Michael Jackson, like dancing, like singing, like Chris just Brown. doing like a Chris Brown. I'm thinking like they're doing so many other things yeah, in yeah, the performance, yeah, yeah. and like and a rap Put is bars, and you got to make music that people feel Too and they relate to. But at the same time, like I don't know, it, it's very rare air. Yeah, to be like, a rapper and get mentioned on that level. It's, it's, it's super very rare super air. rare. Yeah, like very rare because you're limited in what you could do. Like I'm comparing you to Mike. Mike is singing. Yeah. So so what so what dancing, is Drake dance like Michael Jackson? Say again. <laughs> <laughs> what if Drake was dancing like Michael Jackson? He'd be, he be the greatest he'd ever, dog. He'd be the greatest. He'd be the greatest. If Drake could dance like Michael Jackson, he's been Chris holding Brown. it back the whole time, and then all of a sudden dropped it on this album. But that's why Drake and Kanye, to me, got to be in those conversations because they've always like they've always like bended the genre of hip hop. You know what I mean? They've yeah. always like stretched it. Like they do things outside of, they, they take all of these hip hop elements and they keep it so authentically hip hop, but they do it in so many other genres of music, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, yeah. damn, Kanye had a number one gospel album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Drake does everything from dance hall to reggae, uh, the, the R and B to, yeah. you know, like he's done a little bit of everything. It's, that's why you got, got some people like Glasses, uh, Glasses will say he's pop. He don't even make hip hop. Mm. But to me, I look at Drake. I've never looked at Drake and said, okay, he's not a rapper. I, think, I actually said I hate when he sings, but it's still hip hop. I think pop is not a category. I think it's a level of success. That's all it is. Right? Yeah. Like country the can be pop. Up. Yeah. Like, like yeah. once you're in the pop genre, it's basically like you want not who's the best artist, but who's the most successful. So it could be country with some Taylor Swift shit. It could yeah. be rap with Drake. It could be. Uh, I guess R and B is what Bieber's doing. There was a pop sound at one point. From who? Like you know all that ooh baby baby that shit. Yeah, Alex yeah, was yeah. doing boy on band. stage. Boy yeah, the boy band, band yeah, yeah, Britney Spears yeah, era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a sound. Yeah, yeah, that it was, was a good. pop sound. Nah, you're right. You're right. You know right, what I mean? But right. to you, you're right though. And it was trash. It's almost better. <sighs> nah, 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 nah. Then what? What? It's just slap. It's what like, the all what that the shit, man. New kids on the block, hanging no. tough. You know what I mean? And Britney's bitch shit. Nah, Britney did Oops, go hard. I did it again. Yeah, I got out. Hard. I'm not gonna act like the pop shit didn't slap. Nah, Britney bro. went hard. I'm on One Direction. Yeah. Um, best song ever. One Direction. Steal my girl. I sing out loud on the treadmill still. <sighs> yes, yeah, I like best song. I was listening to. I was riding with my uh, daughter, taking her to Chile in practice, and I had her listening to. Uh, this old song by Black Men United called "You Will Know" because it's like one of that's one of my favorite songs. And then, um, uh, fucking, uh, I listen to Olivia Rodrigo because she likes her. Oh yes, that's female school shooter music. That one song <laughs> slaps, bro. Yeah. What's that song we never called? Never had one yet. Though. Was she singing about the guy Does going to therapy? Happy and healthy. Da, da, yeah. Da, 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 da. Good for you, yo. But how much of a hater is she? she the guy has moved on, got a new girl, right? And then she's like, "Good for you, oh, happy, yeah, happy and healthy. healthy." Oh, you went to therapy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you in therapy. You feel better <laughs> now. She gets all the benefits. Like that's she is a hater. That's women. That's women, though. That's Not just women. women. That's men. Period. Oh, you calling them women now? No, no. That's <laughs> all of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's all of us because it's like I introduced you to that and don't you forget it yep. you know what I mean I made your yeah, life better why aren't you happy with this man's emotional growth why, why yes. can't he emotionally grow he emotionally grew out of you because we're humans okay, he can't but he liked you when he was in a toxic state and then he got better <laughs> and realized he could do better right like he went beyond you you helped clear his shit up and then he realized why am I with this chick or let's no, move it on no, that's, that's, why, yeah, no, you're that's right. why that's why a lot of girls never want you to grow because they're like man he grow and get better he gonna leave me exactly right. he got healed should've made him better good yep. for you he got healed 
And uh, he grew and he prayed for God to take negativity out of his life. Ooh, and and damn, then God answered. <laughs> Swim. <laughs> Good for you. You're a happy and healthy. That shit Not me. Flaps. What is it? Not that you oh, would ever see. ask. <laughs> Yo, this girl's a hater, bro. <laughs> but I mean up. that sincerely with the female school shooter music. Like when dudes feel that way, they shoot up a school. But when girls <laughs> are upset like this, they just make these amazing albums that we all listen to. That's oh, the Adele shit too. Remember Adele got broken up with? Adele yeah. shit And they made slap. a classic banger. Wow. Adele shit slap. What was the name of that song? What's the name of that song? Uh, Good for you. Good for Amy you. Amy Winehouse, you right. Yo, Amy, Amy Winehouse. Amy slap. Oh, God, I'm going Yo, back. Good for you. I guess you moved on really easily you found a new girl and it only took a couple weeks no she it's got every rap, right to be mad son. remember it's when you good. said that you wanted to give me the world and good for you I guess that you've been working on yourself I guess that therapist I found for you she really helped <laughs> nah, now you can play. be a better man for your son. brand new nah, girl it's just, it's just that's it. just slaps bro this is worth and it, that's bro. a pop song that shit slaps he's a lead and it only took a couple weeks. Okay, Charlotte. You said that you wanted to give me the world. I guess that you've been working on yourself. Hey. She really has. Uh. You can be a better man for your brand new girl. This shit hit right here. Well, good for you. I'm happy and healthy. Now I mean, I look good and healthy. So Without me, baby. Well. <laughs> that shit is yeah. fast. She said, I wish that I could do that. <laughs> I guess good for you. You know what's so dope about that record? What's that? What's so dope about that record is she admits that she's still so heartbroken yeah, over that she's guy. Tight. She's bad. You know why? Because you didn't really want to break up with him. No, she didn't. Here's the thing. He, he broke up with her. Toxic, when you when you when you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it's yours. That wasn't yours, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> it's really that yours. simple. We don't forget. We we always forget about that first part. If you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If it doesn't come back to you, guess what? You let it go. You let it go. Let you it be gone. That? You hear that, Alex? The way you let it go you is you smash it. Well, Alex, don't listen. Love? Puerto Ricans, bro, let it go. Bro, <laughs> let it go. Okay? <laughs> let it go. Yeah, Alex, okay? Y'all let, let, let it go, go 10 feet, and then you're like, oh, really? <laughs> you so go? Get your ass back here. <laughs> No <laughs> Let's pay some bills. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second, pay some bills, because I got to make sure that your dick's hard. We're going into fall. Okay? We're going into fall. Okay, summer's over. Dicks are starting to get a little chilly. Game has changed. You're going to be tucked up in the crib with your girl, maybe your side chick, maybe a new girl you haven't even met yet. You need to deliver the best dang lang of your life, okay? And Blue Chew is going to help you make that happen. Very simple. Same active ingredients as inside Cialis or Viagra, but we only use the Chew because we need to make sure that our partners are satisfied. And you're going to do that right now for free because we're taking care of you. That's right. All you need to do is go to BlueChew.com, use the promo code IDIOTS, and you're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. And think about that. The best dick of your life delivered to your place for free so you could deliver it to the girl of your dreams. Remember, bluechew.com. Use the promo code IDIOTS and you're going to get that. Now, let's get back to the show. Also, this show is brought to you by the best CBD on the motherfucking planet. Cushy, Cushy Dreams is in the building. This is the CBD we fuck with. We're taking on the road, the infamous oh, no. tour. We're taking on the road, the infamous tour. We're not playing around. This is how we keep calm, keep the anxiety down. And also, if you just want to smoke, also, if you just want to smoke with the homies, but you can't get too high before a show, before you go to work, before you work out, before you do anything like me, very sensitive to weed, you got to make sure that you use that cushy CBD. It's the best flower in the business. They only fuck with the flower. They leave the flower in the pre-rolls. You can roll into your own shit or you can have the shit pre-rolled to you. Cushy Dreams. And here's the deal. If you go to CushyDreams.com, that's K-U-S-H-Y, Dreams.com, and use the promo code IDIOTS. At checkout, you're going to get 20% off your next order, okay? Smoke your CBD with the promo code IDIOTS at CushyDreams.com. You're going to get 20% off today. Now, let's get back to the show. Let's do some church announcements. Let's go. What y'all got? What you got? Um, yo, the infamous tour, man. Killing. Uh, man, it's been so much fun. We got to get you out to I'm some coming, shows, man. We got, yeah, but we got to include you guys in the antics. You know, we we out here doing things a little bit different. I told now, you what I want to you know? do just, for, just to be able to get me to Vegas because when I went to Vegas last time, I had a problem. 
I want to be able to hold the Tigers, man. I got you, man. We're gonna. Oh yeah, Tigers would be fire for Vegas. We got to figure out what we're gonna do I for mean, Vegas. Now that we know Wax Breeze is his butthole, we, we got. got, we got <laughs> I'm sure you can have something else planned for Vegas. Just an acknowledge that went wrong. Um, what is an acknowledge? I think we got to get Charlemagne <laughs> singing uh, Olivia Rodrigo, man. I gotta learn the words. I will tell you something. I killed that One Direction best song ever, though. Destroy it. You heard it here. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all heard it here. Maybe it's the way she walks. That's all you get for now, it's, man. It's different in the shower. <laughs> you sound different in the shower, bro. Who does? <laughs> Anybody. Yeah, it does sound different when you're in the headphones. You can't hear yourself. Um, <laughs> that I sound fire, like, bro. I'm high. amazing at singing. I'm like, why am I even doing comedy? I need to be singing. When the tour started back then, you, you took a little, you went to Paris, I right? went to Paris for a little minute. Um, but then, um, but yeah, we're back this next weekend. We're OKC. Then we're going to to Detroit, Milwaukee. This weekend, and, Labor Day weekend. Uh, is it Labor Day weekend this weekend? Yeah, yeah I'm in yeah. OKC this weekend. And then uh, the following weekend, we're going to be in Detroit. We're going to be in Milwaukee. Then we got San Diego for two shows. And then we're filming the special out there in Austin. Uh, then That's we got, why I so, might come. When is it? What date is that? Austin's going to be Sunday and Monday. I think it's September 19th and 20th oh, or no, 20th and 21st. Yeah. But uh, now Vegas is going to be dope too. I'm excited about all this shit, man. So, uh, so it's going to be great. But theandrewshows.com, we added more shows. We added another one in Chicago. We added another one in San Francisco. Those tickets are going fast. Make sure you get on them shits. And again, get on them now. I keep telling people, get on them now. They wait. Then the week of, and there's no tickets left. They're like, hey, how do I get in? And now you're buying the tickets on resale for fucking $500,000. Don't do it. Just go get the tickets right now. Theandrewshows.com. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Wow. So go Big get them right team. now. We out here, bro. We Big out here. Heavy. We just trying to have fun with it, man. You are having fun. We just trying to have fun with it. You doing it like a rock star. That's, that's what I like. I, same thing I was talking about Drake. It's like, yo... Drake looks like a rap star. If you're going to do it, man, do it like a rock star. Like the first big comedian I ever saw was Eddie Murphy. Exactly. been the bar for me. Exactly. You know what I mean? Bro. Come out there in the tight leather shit. You know what I mean? Like rock star it out. That's yeah. why I like what Kev was doing. Yes. I don't give a fuck how you feel about Kevin as a comedian. You can't mm. sit here and act like Kev's not a comedic rock star. He owned 100%. that shit. I want it to be He's the best. He's a superstar. Missing, you missing I want it something. to be the you best. You got to have like a sex tape or like a disease, like herpes or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, really the tour just started. Rock give us some time. Okay. That's that new age thing. No, but that's that's it. It's like anytime I want to do anything like in in my genre like i want it to be the best and i want it to be different and i want to like change the way that other people That's do right. it after the fact so it's like so when you get cheat. into these bigger fucking venues bro like it's it's it, the show has got to change the show's got to evolve the show's got to grow to fit to the space like you, you're performing for thousands of people it's got to be a night out it, it's it's more than it's more than for them right it's like they got a fucking babysitter like they put their kids somewhere you know what mm -hmm. i mean they got an mm -hmm. uber like they're spending all this money to come out it's got to be the greatest show they've ever seen say what they argue with each other they need somebody to make exactly them laugh. man yeah. so i'm it's watching like, it bro I, I, you know i think i'm not one of those people who you know, take for granted that like your friends are like literal legends in the making. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like great. I watch it and I'm like, this is great. Yeah, bro. Like culture is shifting. And like, you know, what you're what you're witnessing now is 10 years from now, you're going to go back and look and be like, I remember when that shit started. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like yeah, I remember. Yeah. And it's it's real. That shit is really happening right now. If people are paying attention. Like, you know, you've been looking at us one way for a long time. But shit is shifting and you in, in 10 years it's going to be a whole different conversation and you're going to be like oh uh, <laughs> I'm telling you that's, yeah that's the way you judge it it's like what no this is what I'm saying people say I should have got pregnant I don't know what's going I on don't, I don't know bro you got any church announcements? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now we know why you're yeah. that butthole. You, yeah. you, you want to get, get that baby out. out. <laughs> I got that Who's Wax Man in 36 stores in LA, man. I got my Who's Wax gummies. Um, Y'all go grab that. That's um, Who's Wax .net. You know what I'm saying? Go put your, your order in. And I also have the Rush Charge, man. I need to make sure y'all get y'all these. This is really dope. Uh, go to, go to blackeffect.com. Salute to everybody that's you know, uh, listening to the Black Effect Podcast Network. We're actually approaching a year. Let's go. It'll be a year. Yeah. It'll be I'm a year. On That's like fire, man. Year. September 9th. September 9th. Mm -hmm. September 9th is when we uh, announced we were launching and then we launched our first uh, podcast, which was cut to it by Steve Smith uh, a week later on the 17th, I believe. So, yeah. Salute to everybody who's been supporting the theblackeffect.com and make sure you go get uh, Anita Kopak Shallow Waters Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built, all available via Black Privilege, Atria, Simon & Schuster Publishing. And make sure you tune in to uh, Comedy Central, 10 p.m. Yeah. Friday night, September 17th. Right. Uh, the God's Honest Truth. You know, I saw uh, West 42nd Street um, Instagram, you know, post that, you know, 
that's that you know the, the Daily Shows moved out, so the Daily Shows moved from that space after twenty five years, and nice. you know they got I'm up there now. You know what I'm saying? Fine. So like that's the energy in that building is crazy. Is that your set? That's what that's my office. It's office yeah. set everything. Oh really? Yeah, it's cra it's crazy because the energy in there is like. Man, you think that's what John Stewart was, you know what I mean? That's what yeah, yeah. Colbert was, you know, that's what Trevor Noah's been all these years. And it's like, yo, the Daily Show literally has been there for 25 years. So it's just like yeah. a lot of good talk show energy on that building, yeah, you yeah. know? And you know, they 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 you know, just 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 to see my face up there is like, whoa. You know Are what you I'm saying? Are you feeling good about the show? I feel phenomenal yeah. about the show. Yeah. I yeah. feel I feel I feel like we we really cooking up something really, really dope. You yeah. know what I mean? That's it goes yeah. back to what I was saying. It's just like, you know, you got to pay attention to when culture is shifting. Mm. You know? Yeah. But I can't, I mean, I, you, like I said, you got to, you, you have to see it. When you see I'm excited, it, man. I'm excited for you, you to restore it. my really faith dope. in Comedy Central. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in Charlemagne. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it, right? Like I believe in Chris McCarthy. Chris is the guy. Chris yeah, is the man, yeah. man. And Chris does not get in the way of the creatives. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Especially when the creatives have proven themselves. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. To be in a situation where, like, I've been able to assemble my own team. Every, I mean, from every aspect, Oops, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. From showrunner to PAs, everybody, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. to be able to build your own team and have your own tribe in the building and, 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 and just creating this beautiful energy. It's just like, man, I really, I've really enjoyed the last couple of weeks just being in that building, mm. being in the office, just... Yeah, I haven't felt like this in a long time about something. That's good, man. September 17th, 10 p.m., Comedy Central, The God's Honest Truth. We're watching. All right? We're all watching. Now, let's get back to the show. What we got? Um, I don't know. Abortion? <laughs> man, that is crazy, though. What, what is, is the rule? I don't know what the rule is. The rule is that you... Let me, let me read it uh, verbatim. And the Supreme Court just said, fuck it today. What do you mean? <laughs> they vo voted to uphold it. Wow. Yeah. Hold on. Let me but see. But what is the what yeah, is the what rule? Is let me read it. Let me read it verbatim because I don't Damn. let me see. It's kind of technical. Oh. Yeah. Six week abortion ban. Yeah. Oh, six weeks. <sighs> the law is one of the strictest in the nation and bans abortion before many people know they are pregnant. The law allows private citizens to bring civil suits against anyone who assists a pregnant person seeking an abortion in violation of the ban. In an unsigned opinion, the majority wrote that while the clinics had raised serious questions regarding the constitutionality of the Texas law, they had not met a burden that would allow the court to block it at this time due to complex and no novel procedural information. Mm. I, I mean, I don't see how that's constitutional at all. Like, how do you tell a person that they cannot get an abortion after six weeks and there's no exceptions to that rule? Mm. Nothing? Just... Yeah. So why this is tricky is that... There should be uh, some exceptions, I believe. What's that? There should definitely be some exceptions. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even have rape or incest. That's what I'm saying. Rape, rape incest, yeah. none of that. Like, yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, the only yeah. exception is if um, the pregnant mother's life is at risk. That's the only Ah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Because some women can die during, uh, yeah. during childbirth. And how do you bring a civil suit against any provider accused of violating the ban and anybody who assists? Yeah. Assist is crazy, like the Uber. Like Lyft drivers, that's what I'm saying. Uber like, driver, yeah. And the reason yeah. this is tricky, man, because that already lets you know that they about to get rid of Roe versus Wade. You think? Uh, easily. Like, mm. why, like yo, if you, why, would a, why would a Supreme Court even uphold something so unconstitutional? You know what's, you know what's interesting? It's like, I asked a, a woman who's like a, an abortion extremist about, uh, uh, or an anti-abortion extremist about um, the rape and incest mm -hmm. exceptions. And what she said the argument was is that it's not the baby's fault. That was that was the argument. In other words, like oh. the so you're in her eyes killing the baby, but it's not the baby's fault that they were put there. So don't punish the baby for the rape or the incest. Mm -hmm. Punish the rapist. Punish the family member that you know committed the incest. Yeah, but you there's it, like it's all connected, right? I, yes, yeah, of imagine course. the I, trauma. I think that, we like, all understand that here, but that's the extremist view that's on insane it, to me. right? Yeah, that's like a psychological mind fuck, oh, right? Yeah, for your whole life, you, you, your yeah, whole life, because it's like you love you. Of course, you're going to love this being. Yeah, yep. but, but then you it. always got to think about how that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. I, who wants to do man? Listen, no, no. It's like it's people get married, like they love their wife, but they don't want to be married. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. So. That's all. not what this I, is. I, I just talk to guys at bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's, those guys you're talking to are probably all on the Supreme Court, and that's why they upheld this stupid-ass 
long. Okay? The si- and also Christ. the six th- weeks thing is tricky because um, you don't even know you're pregnant. You six weeks. Out. So yeah, so so your period comes every 28 days or something like that, yeah. right, ladies? It's on the lunar 18, calendar, 18. right? So so it's like 28 days. But sometimes periods are late. Sometimes a girl could be a week late. Always sometimes late. she could be two weeks late. Like you never know, right? So, yeah. so this girl doesn't even know that she's pregnant. She's like, oh, my period's a little erratic or oh, my period's a little late. So she's not even taking the test to see, right? And if she's having casual sex with the person that, you know, she's with, she's a boyfriend or girlfriend, it's very possible that she has no clue that she's pregnant and then finds out two months later and she doesn't even have the, the ability to get the abortion, man. It's, I just it's don't know tricky. why there's more rules in place that you can't kill a fetus but not for police to kill black people. Well, there are rules <laughs> to say you can't kill black people. I can't tell. Them <laughs> there are rules. You're not allowed to just kill people. Well, they work around them. It's, yeah, it's tricky, And man. why? Well, because people believe it's a life, man. They believe yeah. that. Well, if that's the case, get rid of the death penalty everywhere. Abolish the death penalty yeah. every uh, across the country. There should be no death penalty. The tricky thing with that is like the Bible says, and you're probably aware of this, is like uh, thou shalt not murder, but if yes. a person murders, you can kill them. I don't know if the, the Bible says The punishment for mm. murder is... I don't know if the Bible... I really don't know if the Bible says that. I have no but idea. But it does say that. Well, no, it doesn't. That. I ain't it never heard that kill. one. I heard thou shalt not murder, but they don't say that thou shalt not, not murder, but if you murder, thou shalt not murder the you. The punishment for... The punishment for... Well, that's not murder. That's all God's doing. He killing said. somebody who's committed a crime is not... You're not murdering them. You're killing them. Murder is is taking someone's life with no reason. For no reason, yeah. This shit. I, I'm just saying, like, even God knew, like, like the out, punishment oh, for you gotta help me get that. <laughs> 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 you get ass me. That's how it It's probably worse. <laughs> what? Get your ass. I don't know. What? What? <laughs> what? what? Murder? I, was what? Like, I don't know. I was saying something. I just wasn't Isn't thinking. it like that? Doesn't it say that in the Bible? Am I misquoting it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, the well, punishment. Thou shalt not eat ass? Thou shalt not eat ass. No, thou shalt not. I think it's saying, like, thou shalt not Imagine eating ass back then before toilet paper grows. Thou shalt not kill, though. You know why the brilliant idiots is so great? Because we got all here, the man. access to look something up. And we're like, no, nah, we rather have the why conversation. Why would we? <laughs> we'll slow down the podcast. We'd rather inform <laughs> half a million people the wrong way. Yeah, listen. But it says thou should not kill. So I don't know what you said. Listen, if you kill somebody, I get to kill you. Where the fuck is that at in the Bible? Yo, yo, yo. Can y'all look at what, can y'all look at what Taylor just Google? Just look at the fucking what? Google. Thou shall Bible. <laughs> thou shall Bible is Son. wow. Son. That's, that's the book of Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> thou shall Bible. Thou shall not kill. <laughs> thou shall not kill. <sighs> thou shall not kill. If you kill, you, you, we get to kill you. Okay, here it goes. What does the Bible say about punishment for murder? Beloved, this is Romans 12, 19. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. Yes. I will repay, says the Lord. Says the Lord. Genesis mm-hmm. 9, 6. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be... No, that this might be it. Yeah. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man, by man shall his, his blood, blood be shed. shed. Yes. For God made man in his own image. Exactly. In other words, hey, oh, if you, here's an even better one. Leviticus 24, 17. Whoever takes a human life shall surely be put to death. So the death penalty is in the Bible, fam. Like, that's what it is. Mm. It's something like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's close. I it's, know it's, it's, we kill them. Who's, which one of y'all going to kill them? What do you mean? I'm saying, I mean, I know a lot of people doing it, but they saying like, which one of y'all going to actually do it? Like, I, he said somebody's supposed to kill this person. Which one of y'all going to do it? The bad part about that, it only works in the law if, like, you're defending yourself. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody yeah, is trying, you, trying to kill, kill you, then I can... That's peace. Defend you know, yourself. And maybe in some states, I don't even well, know God like doesn't that in every God doesn't give you permission to do that. Defend, defend yourself? Defend yourself? Doesn't say that you're allowed to kill him. Have faith, bro. I'll defend you. I'm going to come down here. I'll smite him. But it doesn't well, say that. Yeah, but, he but, also but, told you to be wise. And he told you faith without works is it's dead. dead. So you so, can have all the faith in the world. I, I love you, you can have all the faith in the world, but that gun works. Work. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That gun I works, legs bro. For a reason. I that's give you a right. reason to pull this that's trigger. That's right. That I ain't not put the gun there for you that's to right. defend yourself. That's right. I'll be so, running. Hey, I'm either going to pull this gun out. And by the way, when you pull that gun out to defend yourself, you're going to say, Man, God, please yeah, let me get out of this jam. situation yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And even if you run in from somebody, like, please, God, yeah. let me get out of this situation. Well, plenty of times I ask God to save me from these cops that's chasing me or yeah. somebody that was chasing me or something like that. You don't think you believe in God yeah. until you really, something really happens. What? You what? calling on God at the wrong times. Yeah. What are you talking about? God ain't had nothing to do with that. You ran from the cops because you was doing something you had no I business done, doing. So who going to help me? Not God. Not God, you. God going to let you. I'm going to tell you the same thing God going to tell you. 
Wow. <laughs> what you do to Didn't get Didn't I tell you not to do this? I ain't got time for that show right now. I ain't got time for that shit. We ain't talking about how it is after I fucking get out. God told you to submit your will to me. I am. All right. That's nope, you submit, nope, you submitted your will to the devil and now yeah, the devil got the devil you in this I situation. I got to had no fucking peanut butter and dr jelly dry ass sandwiches. That's submitting to the is devil. Is that what they give you in jail? Oh, bologna sandwiches. The fucking is there any jail that has good food? Like, is there <laughs> a jail that's like known for their the cuisine? Feds, they said the feds is, is jail. Balvin, okay. jail. Balvin got some fire. Uh, some fire. Goddamn. Um, well, jail break when you out of it. Rose Come Boy. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I watched Goodfellas. I saw them up in there getting money. They was eating good. That's a movie. See, that's what I'm saying. That's that, that's the feds though. That's what I'm saying. The feds it might be a little bit better. I'm saying. I'm sure Bill Cosby's eating good. No. You don't think? Oh, come on, you don't think you, you sit there and get Bill some bad food, bro? You bug him. Well, he's out now. Now yeah, he's now. definitely in good. Saying, they probably, I mean, you probably have people that was looking out for yeah, him. You know what I'm saying? Bill. Sneaking shit in him. But yeah, I mean, I, have to say, <laughs> I can see that. I can see that happening. I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else we got? Yeah. Oh, Joe Rogan got COVID, man. Damn. Yeah, damn. I hollered at him yesterday, man. He said he's doing good, though. Yeah, good. Did he really say he was taking the uh, ivermectin? Yeah. He was I didn't, taking I, all that shit. What's yeah. that? I, I but that is a, a drug that people are taking for COVID. People are blowing this out of proportion. They're like, oh, this is to get rid of horse worms. It's like, okay, maybe it is for that, but they're also using it for COVID. Like, he's not the only person that's using it. Are humans supposed to take it? Yeah, they're prescribing it to humans so they can get over COVID. Is that true? 100%. Look it up right now. What is, is it? Is ivermectin a uh, potential I, I, drug for I COVID? Al, can Nobody not, in this room can spell that. I can't. <laughs> I just need to go up front. <laughs> like, I don't even know what, what to begin. Let, let me try to do it. What is it? Ivermectin. I V. -E I know him. R M E T I C. I know him. That's close. <laughs> that was close though. It's, yeah, uh, that's what I do. -E -C -T -I -N. It's for G T. Oh, yeah, okay. Ivermectin. Yeah, M E T H O D. What? <laughs> what is it? M E T. I V. -E this is wild. Hold on. <laughs> what have you been googling, Alex? That shit. That shit went from is Kanye. No, this is Taylor. Don't put this on me. Listen, I'm that gonna shit gonna said is Kanye it. good in the hood. Then it said is masturbation a sin. Let Whoa. me see. Go back. Yo. <laughs> go back. Get rid, go, get, delete the IVO. Go dude. back. Now look. Is it a sin to fear God? Is Con listen, listen. Come on. Look at Taylor's shit. Is what Kanye Yeezy, right? Is, is Kanye from the hood? The is masturbation a sin in the Bible? Is hell in the Bible? Is Instagram down? Is it going to rain today? Is it going to rain today, NYC? Is it going to rain today, Brooklyn? <laughs> Really? Oh, I don't, don't know. Yo. That should sound very specific to you. Like your search. Why? Is that's the search. That's the search for you. That's what Google thinks you want to know. Huh? Yo, she I want you to keep typing what yo, you type. You got interesting searches. Hell in searches. the Bible is wild. It's hell <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> No, is masturbation a sin is, is the best it's, one. It's is masturbation a sin in the Bible? Fuck if masturbation is a sin. <laughs> is it just a sin in the Bible? They gotta tell me. That. I gotta read this. The shit. first one is, is ivermectin used in humans. That's a fire name. I might start using that as my alias. Ivermectin is approved for first use name in Iver, people. Last name Mectin. Ivermectin but only in case of very specific parasitic people. disease, he said. The product meant for animals. Uh, have different ingredients and have a larger concentration of the active ingredient that could be dangerous to humans. So, is it or not? I don't know. It is used for people. But he says it's dangerous for humans. So all people? these drugs are dangerous for humans. They give motherfuckers fentanyl. That kills mad humans, but they use it. What about the stuff that they gave hey, me? I don't know about this. You might me. need a horse tranquilizer. No, you no, you no, need no, horse no, drugs. No, you think they're going to give you Advil? You think no. that Ad, a little Advil is going to work for you? you Some you, fucking 14 year old girl, and you are going to take the same amount of Advil and it works the same? That's what I think about the vaccine. How about that? How Wait, the fuck you give me the same vaccine they give you? They should give you more. You should get the booster. You should get three. <laughs> no, I'm you not. You should get three shots. Yo, that is crazy that like two pills of Advil is the same for everybody. Like, how is that even possible? How do we decide? I don't think that's the case. You're not even supposed to give Advil to kids that kids not kids but still yeah, like, yeah, Taylor yeah. and Wax take the same amount of Advil <laughs> to Wax's point that's the reason vac the vaccine hasn't been approved yet for kids 5 to 11 because they have to figure out the right dose not because kids don't get COVID and doesn't kill them no kids died of either. COVID Kids aren't dying of COVID. They got that shit. They sneeze a couple times. It's fucking done. No, nah, I don't think that's the case. I think it's because of the you got you got to give kids the proper no. Dose of the it's vaccine. kids' immune systems already yeah. good. Yeah. By the way, this is the brilliant in in podcast. Yeah, we don't know nothing exactly. They so, touch everything. All the things they tell us not to do. Kids do that daily, already. all day, already. Yeah, so just they can't even tell them not to do stuff. Just please, all you medical professionals, don't listen to this and get frustrated because <laughs> we are not <laughs> medical are. professionals. <laughs> they are going to get I frustrated. I saw something the other day, man, and I had to send this to Duval because, you know, I, you, I be just randomly online looking at shit. So I'm looking at First Coast News. 
And First Coast News is like uh, an affiliate out of Jacksonville, right? They're ABC and NBC. This is the headline. Okay. No, the FDA does not approve tobacco products. So I'm just reading. The Food and Drug Administration approved COVID vaccine on Monday. Now, many skeptics are saying the FDA also approved cigarettes. Is that true? Right? Wow. Prior to the FDA's recent vaccine approval, first of all, the answer is no. But wow. I'm just reading the article in randomly. Many are sharing the claim with social media, including Jacksonville rapper Little Duval. They're insinuating <laughs> that the FDA's approval does not necessarily mean something is good for you. Duval never said this. He asked a question. Duval said, "Isn't cigarettes FDA approved?" Now, he, oh, he is a rapper. Though. It was a leading question, right? All right. Because he's asking, right? But cigarettes are not FDA approved. But all of these people, they're not. No. Absolutely not. So they, Duval is spreading misinformation? It, Duval asked a question. Take the Instagram down. But, every, <laughs> <laughs> but everybody else was chiming in saying, matter of factly, that the FDA has approved cigarettes. Uh, no, tobacco products are not FDA approved. The administration monitors and regulates the sale and distribution of tobacco products, but does not endorse the use mm, of tobacco. Fuck all that. My is point the, is... Why is Duval being cited <laughs> as a news source? Because he's a news source. It's and like stop. He's a, rap, he's a rapper. He's the most influential man in America, Doug. There was a there was another one. Um, that they 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 quoted us from the brand news. I don't even remember if we said this, <laughs> what is but it was about yeah. us spreading like back mis uh inf misinformation about the vaccine, basically saying you. like there's a microchip in it. You said that. I've never <laughs> said that. I don't even know. How and to if say I did, I was being sarcastic. Nah, you said that shit, bro. <laughs> you said yeah, they're putting yeah, yeah. microchips in us. This is how they're gonna follow us. You don't leave the house anyway. Why you this care? Is, you know? Wow, this is how they're following us. That's 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 and I just yeah, bought yeah. this two days so ago. Imagine the poor guy in the government that gotta follow you around, just sitting in your fucking gazebo, <laughs> just this hanging guy, in your man, fucking guy, pergola he, the whole time. What this guy loser. really does nothing. <laughs> like, no, seriously, I'm serious. He's faithful to his wife. He Yo, really take does the chip out. Dog. That it's boring. nothing. This guy does nothing. They think that you can be some superstar traveling all around the world, fucking models everywhere. He's literally, he's literally walking around his backyard barefoot, hugging trees. This shit is real. Like this shit he's talking. This shit is really real. Like he's in his backyard doing like these fire ceremonies. They're chanting. You know what I mean? Like he's really doing this shit. Bro. Like he is who he says Yo, he is. Poor <laughs> guy. What, what is actually fun though? Like when you go home, what do you do that's actually fun? Yeah, not, it, nothing. Come on, it's, it's nothing. That's work, the fun bro. part. Yeah. Yes. The fuck. I mean, yeah, when, when you do a lot, life? not doing is fun. Nothing when is When you do amazing. nothing, doing something is exciting. I get it. Yes. I love when doing nothing. When I get nothing. home, I ain't got to do nothing. I said, I had a great day. Yeah. I love doing nothing. I got nothing. to sit back and chill out Just and chill. smoke. Pop edibles. Get in bed. You know go to what sleep mean? early. Oh, man. Nine, with nine the kids. I go if to I'm bed in bed at 8.30. Oh, it's a wrap. Oh, my gosh. It's a wrap. 9.20. You just looking at your girl like, I hope she don't ask me to fuck. Don't say nothing. Don't try to fuck. I could be in bed at 9.30. I'm not there yet. That shit excites me. You be I, to I bed like nine twenty, and you wake uh, up at like midnight, and you gotta pee. Then you look at your clock and realize, oh my I god, got, I, I got, got three, four more Ooh. hours. You go take that piss and that slide piss back, and get back into in bed. For four more hours uh, is great. The best. <laughs> but the best. How, how is it when you only got twenty minutes? You take the piss. You got oh, twenty minutes worst. left. The worst. Snooze. What worst? Yo, snooze for like four times. I, I put the fucking uh, alarms. I keep go back to back. Yeah, run it. <laughs> eight, eight, ten, eight, twenty, <laughs> eight, thirty. You don't even care if your girl's sleeping still. She hate me. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, I don't even know what the moral of that story was. Me neither. Yeah. What else we got, man? Let's pay some bills. Let's pay these bills and come back and do asking these. All right, guys, we gonna take a break for a second because uh, I need to help y'all step up your shorts game, man. Like, why are you wearing shorts and underwear at the same time when Bird Dogs <laughs> came in here <laughs> and they got the underwear built into the shorts? Okay, right. build Bird Dogs built the perfect short. Really, when you think about it. The underwear is built in. You get out of bed, you slide them shits on, and you are ready to take on a day. Take the dog out for a walk. Fucking hit the gym. Go to the beach. It don't matter. But Bird Dogs redesigned shorts, and this is what shorts are going to be. Plain and simple, I promise you. All you're going to see these athletic brands switching up. You're going to see these regular casual short brands switching up. Everybody's switching up because this is what shorts should be built like anyway. And here's the thing. They're not playing around. They stole Lululemon's designer and now they're just doing it better, okay? If you're not wearing bird dogs this summer, this fall, then what the fuck are you doing? Every dude needs a pair of these things. So... This is what you're going to do. You're going to go to birddogs.com, enter the promo code IDIOTS, and they're going to throw in a free Bird Dogs whistle ball. You guys remember them Nerf Vortex Howler footballs that whistle when you throw them. You could throw them shits like 200 fucking yards. Well, that's it. Bird Dogs threw their logo on it. Genius. That's birddogs.com, promo code IDIOTS, and boom, a free Bird Dogs whistle ball is going to be with your pair of Bird Dogs. Get a few pairs. You're going to enjoy them. Now, what else we got? What else we got, Taylor? Taylor. 
Oh, DraftKings, man. Salute to DraftKings. Look, man, football's right around the corner. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, okay? And with the NFL returning, DraftKings is giving new customers $200 in free bets instantly when you bet $1 or more on any football game. Listen up because you don't want to miss this, okay? Head to the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and place a bet of $1 or more on any week one game to receive $200 in free bets instantly. If Sportsbook is not yet available in your state, DraftKings still has huge cash prizes up for grabs all season long with their daily fantasy contest. And for one week, oh, actually week one, DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at a $1 million top prize. Nothing adds to the shot at a $1 million top prize more than DraftKings, okay? Download the DraftKings sponsorship app now and use promo code IDIOTS to receive $200 in free bets when you place a dollar bet on any football game and get a free shot at a million dollar top prize with your first deposit. That's promo code IDIOTS for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. You gotta be 21 or older, uh, live in New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only, new customers only, minimum $5 deposit and $1 wager required, one per customer, restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Now let's get back to the show. I saw somebody complain Complaining that we only do 90 minute podcasts. Mm. And y'all really confused me with that shit because you complain about Kanye's album being an hour and 48 minutes. <laughs> but you want us to talk for goddamn two hours? Why? I mean, you got a banger album, so. You when you got a banger album. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a banger now album. We got man. The, yeah, we got the oh, fire, man. Tyrone Woodley and Jake Paul. I've been waiting oh, to hear yeah. your take on this big show. Um, I didn't see the fight. Jake Paul made himself the biggest opponent in boxing. No, not boxing. Opponent. Not boxing. Not biggest fighter in boxing. Opponent. Yeah, everybody won them. Everybody in boxing. Won them. In other words, no, no boxer can make more money fighting someone else than they can fighting Jake Paul. So, for example, name who Canelo is going to fight to make more money than a fight against Jake Paul. Well, it depends, though, because Canelo's his price is already set. Canelo gets, what, $20 million a fight, and he gets the back end of the pay-per-view? Exactly. So the back end of the pay-per-view, name a bigger back end of the Canelo numbers, I mean, because he's Mexican, though. But he's not even doing that crazy numbers compared to this. What did Jake Paul and Woodley do? I don't know. I this even, one I right here, I think that they the numbers came in. They said fifth highest pay-per-view in history. Wow. So this, Listen, I ordered it. I'm not going to lie. I ordered it. I, I like How I, was the fight? I thought the fight. I mean, I thought it was decent. I thought Here's the thing. Tyron. Here's the thing. This is what I got from it. Jake Paul will get hurt against the real box. And that's what we, everybody got to keep in mind. He's 4-0, oh, but he hasn't fought one person who's an actual boxer. He fought an NBA player. He fought two <laughs> MMA fighters. And he fought a YouTube star. If he gets in the ring with a real boxer, I'm talking about if he gets in the ring with somebody who's just a golden glove, they're going to hurt Jake Paul. And I think he knows that. And that's why I don't even know why well, I if thought this even, guy was going to get Here's him, the thing. Here's the thing. He exposed. He, he figured out something, and him and his team figured out something. I mean, the kid is the kid is fucking brilliant. If you don't think he's brilliant, then why don't you try to do what he's doing? Uh, regardless yeah. if you like him or hate him, he understands how to monetize the hate. He knows that the whole world wants to see him get knocked out, and he's going to take that fucking shit to the bank. And you know who else did that? Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, Everybody Floyd fight. Floyd was the greatest fighter ever. <laughs> Floyd was the greatest fighter. Yeah. Yeah. But what he's doing is what he figured out is something very interesting. He figured out that MMA guys are not as good at boxing as we thought. Absolutely. Was he surprised? But Tyrone Woodley's always been a good striker. He's been a good striker. And he still was able to outbox him pretty easily. Yeah, easily. So yeah. if he's able to outbox a guy who we think is a good striker, has knocked people out with his striking before in MMA, then that puts him in position to have a huge money fight against a real boxer. Now, if he goes up against a Canelo, and Jake knows this, there's no chance. He'll die. Because boxing is a different sport yes. than MMA. <laughs> Don't do that, Jake. Like, even the way that you saw Tyron fighting him, like Tyron- He was fighting like this, kind of like- he, Well, he was very scared to engage, and he was keeping tons of distance. Why is that? Because in MMA, if you get hit once, you're, you're going down. Yeah. In boxing- you could take a hit. Yeah, if you're used to taking hits Exactly. Like that. And yeah, you'll yeah. trade. I'm thinking, I'm thinking he got knocked out. Nah, nah, nah. He, and he beat him easy. Like, Jake outboxed him. Jake was hitting him with combos. Tyron hey. threw one punch. He did, bro. Like, don't. <laughs> no, not him, bro. You are capping. With Jake. Oh. You are capping right now. Not one thing I saw with Jake. Not one thing I saw. Wait, you that. really thought Tyron won? No, 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 I don't I think he won. But okay. I don't think nobody won. All I, all, all I got from the, all I got from it was literally Cap. this. 
cap. Like this right here was bad. All I got from it is all I got from it is if Jake fights a real boxer. He's done sure, for. Sure, sure. But he only needs to fight one real boxer and then retire. Like, the, I, in no. my mind, if I'm Jake, right, what I'm doing is I'm working towards the $100 million payday. And he might have made this with the pay-per-view, right? If this is fifth highest in history, this fight right here, he'll, he'll clear $100 million with the pay-per-view. But if I'm Jake, my trajectory is this. I'm going, let me build up enough interest where people want to see me fight either Connor or Canelo. No. And then, wait for it, wait for it. They want to see me fight Connor or Canelo. I get $100 million fighting Connor or Canelo. They could beat my ass. Right. And now I don't even don't think Connor could beat him. I'll be honest. I, I think he beats Connor. I don't, beat Jake. I don't think he beats him. He's too small. Connor had power at 145, no power at 155, way less than 170. Damn. The, Jake is 190 pounds. The, you, here's the thing, right? 190 so, pounds. The, you know what builds anticipation for the Connor fight? This fight, because Woodley was an MMA Wood, guy. And, and Woodley handled him. So now you're like, Connor probably could have a chance to beat him. I still think Connor beats him. I, the people that Jake calling out, like, Javante Davis, leave that alone, Jake. Javante Davis will hurt you badly. Badly. He, he weighs 130 pounds. He'll destroy him. There's that. Well, <laughs> like Javante Davis got real knockout power, bro. At 130, does he have it against a guy who's 190? Yes, you know Can why. Can he sit down mm, on his punches yes, at 190? You, yes, you know why. Because did we know, learn bro. anything from Logan Paul versus Mayweather? I don't know, Those bro. punches don't sting the stay at same at 200 yeah, but, pounds. But, but, but Mayweather is 40 something years old too. Still, like man. Javante. No, and, and by the way, Mayweather's never been a knockout artist. Javante knows where to hit you. To lay you the fuck out. Mayweather's never been that. The fact that we're even having yeah. this discussion. But he might be too small for The night. fact that we're even having this discussion means that people are interested to see if it's possible. And, now, and, and Javante went up and weighed his last fight. Sure. But here's the thing. He Javante like got to get really close to hit Jake with this type of power. Really close. And is Jake going to let him get that close? Yes. I don't know. Jake don't have the skills to, to keep Javante from getting we'll that We'll see. We'll see. Here's the thing. I know that the guy, the guy's got power, but people are having this discussion. They want to have the conversation. Not Javante night, Davis night. can't fight one other person that's going to make him more money than Jake Paul. That's my argument. Canelo cannot fight one other boxer that's going to make him more money than if he fights Jake Paul. Yeah. Jake Paul has made himself the, the best opponent for any boxer in the game right now. But and that payday means he's going to payday. But here's the problem with that's that. That's all we're talking about is professional sports. Here's the problem with, with a guy like Jake. And this is probably why he's talking about retiring. Tyrone changed his mind on no, boxing. Already, At the end of that fight, he was Jake was like, I don't know what I'm going to do next. He announced he's back in the game. I thought he announced yesterday no, he was retiring. he announced he's back in the game. He oh. goes, I'm on retiring. Well, Sunday night, yeah. he looked kind of like, oh, man, I'm going to have to rethink this back, one. Because he said it, he was, like, he was like, I'm only 23, man. I don't know what I want to do moving yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm simply saying is, Jake Paul, you only get one of those. Like, yeah. Because wh whatever boxer fights him, it, if he, it's going to do him dirty. So when you get laid out like a Nate Robinson, it's over for that. Now you can got to go back to YouTube and it's fine because he made all his money. Because you made $250 yeah. million. Dollars. And that's fine. Yeah. If that's, that's your thing. Yes, yes, that's the thing. That's who, wouldn't who wouldn't fight one person that beats them? Who wouldn't lose a fight for $200 million? You wouldn't lose a fight for $200 million? I don't that's know, shit. I don't know if Jake Paul's ego can handle that, Schultz. He is fine being hated. This guy is does not you care know, that the whole fuck. world wants the to see him get knocked out. between hated and defeated. Cause, cause, even, cause these kids nowadays they'll take the hate, but are they willing to take I'll the be honest, L's? I'll be honest. If he takes an L, all of a sudden he becomes more likable. The narrative goes. No way. Watch, watch this. <laughs> if he goes in there with the with a legit big time boxer, and then he gets knocked out, people will start going you know, like this. Petty. They'll be, they'll go, they'll go. At first, they'll be like, see this what happened, and eventually a week will go by, and they'll go. You know what? He actually went in there with that motherfucker. I wouldn't go in there with Tyson. I wouldn't go in with those Pity bad pussy. motherfuckers. That's what happens. Yeah. Nah. Not for guys like that. You we just don't live in that era. Like it's, yeah. Eh, eh, yeah. like, hey, we don't live in that era. Like so, nobody gives Logan that. Nobody's like, oh, Logan went in there with Floyd. Yeah, they did. The whole narrative is he lasted eight rounds with the greatest ever. Do it. Mm. The hey, whole narrative. You know, he should have knocked him out. He's too big. Ah, oh, stop it, stop it. Stop. Everybody's switching. Like before, it's he's gonna get knocked out in the second round. Then he goes eight rounds. It's like, oh, you should have knocked him out. It's like, what is it? Y'all gotta be consistent. Nobody give. I just pussy don't think no more, Jake Paul will never get that kind of credit, bro. Doesn't matter about credit. He'll take it to He'll the get bank. The credit He'll have a different type of credit. He'll be able to have two hundred fifty million fucking dollars if he fights Canelo or Connor. And Connor, to be honest, needs that fight because Connor was, I mean, struggling. He's coming off the broken fucking ankle. Nobody cares about Connor. Uh, uh, I don't like about Connor. Connor, 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 Connor's one of those guys who can still sell a fight because of his mouth. But at the end of the day, it's about talent, man. Like, listen, man, and it's it's so interesting that this is coming kind of full circle because it's the same thing with a Kanye, right? No amount of hype will make up for lackluster product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Period. You know what I mean? So yeah, like you said, yeah, Kanye does three hundred fifty thousand out, three hundred fifty thousand in album sales, but it's just like the album is weak. 
Yep. You know what I mean? I don't. I, that's the era I come I from. If you, if you Jake Paul and you go in there and you make two hundred and fifty million, cool. But if you really want to be taken as a serious boxer, mm-hmm. then you got to fight some real boxes and beat some real boxes. I disagree. I think that the fight game is different than art. Art is about the appreciation and the substance yes. of the art. The mm-hmm. fight game is about violence. Either knocked out or get no- knock someone out or get knocked out. But it so, depends who you knock out. No, it doesn't. Clearly, if this is the fifth large, it ends up being the fifth largest pay-per-view in history. But that's because of what he's built up on YouTube and exactly. social media. People, yeah. people are, yo, Jake Paul could do a surfing competition and people will tune in. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like a yes, not, yes, like a certain amount of boxing. people will but there's something about violence where we are just we so it. excited yeah. by it and we're gonna watch it and he Sex found and a violence. way to monetize that shit and I'll be honest he's monetizing it better than his brother because he's fine with people hating on him like Logan is likable you don't think Logan likes people hating on him I, I think he's he's a hero more than he is a villain and I think that Jake is a villain and he barely able to play that way. I do think Logan wants people to like him. I think Logan wants people to see him as like a good inspiration for mm. what you could do. Mm-hmm. And he had to play the heel kind of in that Floyd fight because people want to see him get beat up. But in the future, I think he wants people to want him to win the boxing matches. But the way to make money in boxing as a YouTuber is to want the world to see you get knocked out. I'm watching a fight with a couple friends, right? And when he got hit that one time hard by Woodley, everybody got off the couch all of a sudden, they're like, yeah, get him. And I'm like, oh, the world wants to see yeah, this kid right. get hurt. Right. I didn't want to see him right. lose because he's Jake Paul. I wanted to see him lose because Tyrone Woodley's black. <laughs> <laughs> Being honest. I'm like, I don't want to see him knock out Tyrone Woodley the way he did Nate Rock. Yeah, that would be nah, sad. I, I really, I'm like, that yo, come, sad, on, come on, Tyrone. And the fact that, that he, Tyrone is actually a skilled combat artist. Yeah, he may yeah. not be skilled in boxing per se, but I just wanted to see him like that, do his thing. And I'm going to be honest with you, there is something to... um. I didn't know if, if Tyrone was holding back or if there might be a he little... He was scared of getting hit. Or there might be a little like... Eh, oh, no, stop it. Maybe, maybe. Stop it. Maybe. What are you talking about? He held back? They say stop he could have did him dirty. But, I, but see, I, the only reason I, I push back on I that is I did the same shit with Floyd. Floyd held him up. No, I didn't believe no, that. I didn't believe that. I didn't believe that. Believe that. that. The only reason I push back on Reddit, that a little bit... Reddit, find out where they said that. Reddit guaranteed Me? both of them said that shit on this podcast. I didn't say that. I'm pissed off if he did it. Knock his ass out. I'm the one who said that he's supposed to knock Floyd out. I push I push back on that a little bit just because I feel like maybe Tyrone don't know how to close because he's not a boxer. Exactly. He's used to one hit then I grab and put right. you on the ground. That's he right. doesn't have the instincts That's right. for it. That's right. If there's one thing that Jake Paul did for boxing it's he got a brand new appreciation for the art form because for a while I think we just started going well MMA will win in a street fight mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they're already just as good at boxing and they have all these other skills but now we've learned that they're not. But he wasn't kicking his stuff no. though. No my point is my point is he is exposed that the MMA guys, even the guys that have good knockout power and have had success knocking people out in the MMA cage, are not effective in a boxing match. Yeah. And I think a lot of people thought they were. But 40% of the game is gone. But here, think about this. Every fart, every fart, every fight starts on the feet. <laughs> every fart too. But like, every fight starts on the feet. So if you got a boxer versus an MMA guy, for a second, it's going to be on the feet. So if one of them boxers lands a punch quick, we don't have to worry That's about all that jujitsu. Right. We don't got to worry about right. like kicking shit. If I yeah. land this boxing punch... It might be night night for you. That's what Clarissa Shields did, and and you know who else? Uh, when uh when uh uh, uh Ronda Rousey fought um Holly Holm. Holly Holmes. Holly could box. Holly was a so boxer. Holly was tagging her ass up. Like you couldn't do nothing with that. You know what I mean? Ronda trying to get in and grapple. Nah, baby, back up. Pap, pap. Mm-hmm. Stay back there. You know. But I mean, listen, I, I was entertained. Uh, you know, Jake Paul entertains me. I do. I, I and I don't know why. I just like I I wanted to watch the fight. Yep. I ordered Jake Paul and didn't order Pacquiao and that. Whoever he was fighting Now, Pacquiao fought Earl Spence. Yes, I'm ordering I was it. ordering it. I want to see Jeez. Earl. Please. Didn't care about Pac- Pacquiao. wasn't a draw to me. And I'm going to tell you the other thing they do that's great. Sunday night, I'm at the crib. You're chilling. Jeez. I'm at the I'm crib. I'm not competing with nothing. It got to be earlier, though. Brent, make it at 8. Don't yeah, make it at 11. Yeah, like, you're tired. Yeah, just and make it And I like the undercard. Up. The undercard was fun. The undercard that was guy, good. Um, from Cleveland, what's his name? Love. Love. Montana, Montana Love. Love. Yeah. What a knockout, That was a bro. good fight. That was a damn good fight. That was yeah. a great fight. And he got clipped a couple times. That kid got a chin, bro. He got rocked a couple times, stayed on his feet, kept fighting, great movement, and then boom, TV beautiful more, uppercut, man. man. I get to watch TV. Yeah, dude. Get with it, man. And Montana Love was the underdog. He was the underdog. He was the underdog. Yeah, yeah. Underdog. yeah. I love it. All right, let's do, some, it. let's do some asking idiots, guys. Taylor Gang. Taylor, Taylor Gang. Yo, Taylor, people Taylor are still gang. on Clubhouse. How hilarious is that? Really? People still Yo, on there? That's hysterical, B. 
I, I hated it because you always got to dress up before you like do something. Like people don't even see you still got to put a suit on. It's just kind of dumb. What? On Clubhouse. How do you know they got a suit? I have no idea. You got to put like dress up. My shorty told me you got you to dress up to do that shit. So <laughs> I don't know. She said, she said, I got to talk on Clubhouse. She got dressed. I'm like, what the fuck is this type of It's shit? all audio, bro. Carla got used to doing some wild shit. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, putting like, ass in, putting fucking grease fucking in your butthole. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> fucking... Take, to wearing suits on Clubhouse. It's audio. Yo, people do that shit. Oh, you should hear the way they talk. And they mad because you talk over it. I'm like, yo, what the fuck I've never been this? on Clubhouse in my life and I'm not man, going. Man, I ain't never do that shit either. I heard her talking. And she wanted me to get on it. I was like, man, I ain't got time for this dumb I'm ass never shit. Never getting on Clubhouse. I got to dress up to get on Clubhouse? No. And you got to talk nice. What do you mean? Like you gotta talk like like, like this. Y'all still talk, in, in, you indulging in this? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all still indulging in, in putting on a suit for a fucking phone call? That's what we're still discussing. Right you dress up for a phone call? Come on, y'all. All right, let's what go. We got? Let's ask an idiot. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> Can a fuck buddy turn into a husband? Taylor, you tell us. Whoa, sure. whoa. Oh, you know Taylor got a new boo, right? Taylor ain't got no yeah, goddamn who's boozy. Yeah. Boozy. boozy? Boozy was on Taylor's oh, ass, bro. Man. Really? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Can we talk about the Boosie interview? Because that shit was hilarious. Let's do it. Boosie was on Taylor's ass. Boosie, Toes, hair, everything. Bo hey, Boosie <laughs> looked at Taylor. Boosie said, Ooh, you got a little punch. He said, he said, I love a girl with a little punch. He said, Ooh, you got that punch. Yeah, he was in love. <laughs> How did you feel about that? <laughs> yeah. Um. From there, though. From there, though. No, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Come here, Taylor. Boosie. Um, all the way, all the way. All the way. Boosie definitely uh, showed his, not just his age, but also where he came from when he was coming on me. What are you talking about? He liked the coming on. He liked thick girls. Yeah. What the yeah, fuck? What no. happens? That punchline worked out well. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what the Come fuck? On. He sure he from the south. Yeah. He liked what all his mean? thickness. That's what oh, she was trying to say. Oh, he like he like uh, collard greens. You said get back on the mic. You said something on. different just now. Yeah, you said he was coming on you. You did. Say That's it. exactly That's what you said. When he was coming, like whoa, 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 coming on to you, not coming on you. Wipe me down. You said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoa. Wipe you down, Taylor. <laughs> what the fuck? And yo, you can tell his age because that he wasn't nothing as fast. Yeah, Taylor, please, yeah, sure. please give Taylor a mic. <laughs> yeah, talk on the mic, Taylor. Tell, yeah. What was the boosie blast like? <laughs> I didn't go. He was I did not go. No, he to said the blast. Or anything else. Not the bash. <laughs> the boosie blast. <laughs> he he me, me down. as his real name though, because he wanted to be a gentleman. Oh. So he said my name's. Earl. Terrence, no, Torrance, 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 whatever. Yeah, Torrance. Yeah. Oh. So you liked him? No, I don't. Why he not? Thinks I, he thinks I liked him just because I asked. What but why not? Was. You say you single. That's you all. single. So why not? Because his boot. Are you serious? Taylor did two things. Y'all should hold know my type. Hold on. I do not know your type. Huh? I do not know your type. You're like you know, Boosie. You from Philly? Your type is John. Johns. <laughs> you got a whole lot of Johns. You like Johns. All right. Two things that made me think you like Boosie. Two things. Okay, go. Number one. Flavor Flay. Taylor did the fake, like, save me, Yunk. She was like, tell him I'm your niece. I'm like, you like, grown. What, what the? What yeah. You, what's up? Right? Huh? If it was Nyla and Nyla looked uncomfortable, if you looked visibly uncomfortable, yes, you did you. not look uncomfortable. No, you was you all was. in his face with your <laughs> hand on your hip. He told you he had a you had a pudge. You opened your shirt more. No, you I stuck your butt out. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, she, and then, oh, she, hold she, up. she was and modeling then, And then she knowing. hit him with this. She hit him with this. What's your sign? No, I don't. Oh, didn't. my God. You didn't say, Taylor, you just admitted you. I know, but now how you say it. How, you you him him how did you ask him this sign? How did you ask him? That's said flirting. Simply, I said, so yeah. what's your sign? Come here, come here, come here. Who wants to know signs? Oh, you saw her tail? No, no. <laughs> she had kind of rock a little bit. Right <laughs> 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 damn, damn. Right damn. The cradle, baby. I thought that was <laughs> thunder. I thought that, I thought <laughs> I just came back. back. <laughs> I just turned around. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> me asking what your sign is doesn't mean I'm interested. That's not what I was taught I'm growing me? up. Shit. No, Biggie Small said, if somebody asked you what's your, your name, sign? what's your sign, so yeah, you buy that wine. I just keep up from saying. behind. I'm just asking you so I could understand what your personality is. What's your sign? You want to know something tell, about tell you. flirting. Oh my God. Did you ask him what his interests are? No, I didn't. Who you roll with? I didn't ask him. <laughs> 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 what number did <to> die? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's definitely. Why you hate us? Because yeah, you why'd you tell me before you got off the chair? Shit almost fell Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm a girl, <laughs> you and your guy together, and the girl asks your man, what's his sign? That's not flirting. Mm. If a guy asks my girl what sign she is, bro, come oh, on, that's a dog. Fight. Like, I will fuck you, man. As long as, he's, as long as he's Caucasian, bro, I knock that guy out. <laughs> <If a> man, <laughs> when you when you are a woman in a relationship or a man in a relationship, and another person asks you what they sign is, you say my sign is stop. The one with eight goddamn sides to it. Okay, the red octagon that didn't hit. No, uh, the red eye. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, it. Oh, it. It. Who told you octagon? <laughs> what was it, Chris Rock? What was that, Chris Rock? Doing? How do you learn octagon? Do you guys remember that? My shit? sign, my sign is stop. No, my no. sign is with Tamika Mallory. I don't know who the hell you. you no, you I said my sign. My son my is son. the dollar Like, son. if somebody ask your girl that, be like, yo, That's my son, I'll knock you the fuck out. Why don't you ask Hollywood. my girl that shit? Yeah, you shouldn't be asking no girl. You don't that. ask nobody that shit. What would you want to know about the Boosie interview? I'm just, I just, it was so funny, man. Like, I was watching just clips of it on uh, on social. And um, did you just ask me a question and then go on your phone? I'm listening, <laughs> man. <laughs> yo, yeah, this guy's no, so, the fucking so, so what's more funny, being funny or like, People telling the truth because people telling the truth is like hilarious. I think when and people I think when like jokes is you funny. exist in like a fraudulent you know environment and someone tells the truth around fraudulence is always funny. Which is the world? Yeah, exactly. Everybody's lying to each other. Comics bro. always say that shit like, oh, well, you know, what if people always say that about comics? It's like, yeah, but you actually telling the truth, and it's like, That's how crazy is society it. that like if you just tell the truth, it's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. All you need to do is just say things that are real. But I thought it was interesting to see because y'all brought. Uh, Flame Monroe. Flame was already there. That was total coincidence. Flame oh, was there because yeah. Flame was in was town. It? Yeah, he no, was in was. town because he was um he oh she, she. damn he she was she, well, he, they. she yeah is that well Flame called Flame I'm just gonna say Flame because Flame. Flame confuses me with all the pronouns. It's really, that a, a really Flame a guy uses. though, huh? It's really a guy. What do you mean? The Flame is really a guy though. Yes, that's what I figured. All right, but uh, Flame Flame titties look natch. Titties look super good rack, rash. good rack, good rack. Flame, Flame was um, <laughs> she does have a good rack. Bro. Flame, Flame was she there got a because Ida Rodriguez was filming her stand up special that weekend. Ah, and so Flame was there for that. Cool. And he, he was just on this. She, she was on the schedule. Hey, Flame, it's, it's Flame's fault. Why? Because Flame presents and says he, she, we. Yeah, that's her oh. name. And like I be trying to just His say name. Flame in sentences. Yeah, but you be like Flame, and then you be like you just naturally. You know, but say will he the get pronoun. upset? Will he get upset of you if you? No, say not he? at all. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, yeah. I was, I was like, no doubt, bro. Like she's very understanding some, about those. Yeah, things. I gave him some gummies. So you I gave him some like, gummies. Yeah, so I was like, yo, bro, we got this. I'm not, I'm not gonna be like, hey, ma'am. I think you would be upset if I call her ma'am. Yeah, you see, just what I'm say saying? flame. To say flame. Yeah, say Thank flame. you, Flame. Please. Okay, so then how did Boosie react? Was Boosie because Flame said Boosie's my is is my type. Boosie was cool with it. Yeah, what did he say? He just laughed. And he met he, he met Flame downstairs. He took a picture with Flame, yeah, whatever, he was on whatever. Yeah, chilling, talking. You know, my, listen, man. My whole take on on that will always be: Why do people care so much? Yeah. about somebody's sexuality. That's all I be yeah. thinking. Yeah. And I, I, the same thing with what they're doing in Texas. Why do you care what, what a woman does to her body? Like, why do you care right, where right, who right. another man is sleeping with? Why do we care? I hear straight men yeah. talk about you know who gay men are sleeping with more than I hear gay men talk about who they sleep with. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You probably don't hang out with a lot of gay men, though. Yeah, me neither. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't. Like, if that. you had like, I wouldn't know. That's my point. Like, yeah. listen, when we're around each other, are we sitting around talking about who we sleep with? Yeah. Even in our wildest day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, we're married now, yeah. so we don't. Yeah. We know we, who we're all sleeping with. We, 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 we Yo, last that night far removed. We bro. never used to share last stories. Was crazy. Look how long it's been yeah. for you. And I, I've been over two years. But so we come never on. used to share stories like that. Are you really going to do this? Story was going the next Are you really going to do this, bro? Are you really going to do this? We this guy sucks, bro. Like this. this guy sucks. Every fucking time. We ain't share stories about fucking. Half the podcast talk about the girls wax fuck. We didn't, we didn't say their names. Say what? We didn't say their names. Who knew their names? We didn't care. You're right. Nobody knew their names. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Never tell yo, last time I got this crazy blowjob. Well, what was her name? <laughs> what was her name? Her name was Blowjob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But usually it's not just on some like Stop random. It. Here's the thing though. Stop it's it, never it was it's never on some like random, like we just talking about sex capades. It was things around them. Like oink oink shower time was a story. Amazing. You know what I mean? But it, it was a story about. But it wasn't just oink, about oink, you oink, just oink, saying, oink, yeah, oink, yo, oink, I hit yeah. something. There was a yeah. whole story around it. 
Same thing. What with was whack. the story around yeah. it? I don't even remember. Exactly. I don't want to <laughs> remember because I wouldn't. That shit would not be used against me. <laughs> right? I don't know what the fuck that shit is even about. But same thing with Wax. Uh, Wax had stories around this shit. It wasn't uh, just like funny yo, sex guess what I smashed last yes, night. Yes, yes. Yeah, and dudes, it, it was like gay every, dudes are dudes. So yeah. that's what they talking about too, bro. Yeah, yo, okay. I was at the I was at the gym and I saw some dude lifting weights and then and they talk to each depends other. Depends who okay. the guy is though. What? Because if it's a guy, I don't, I don't know, bro. You don't He's think that's what they talk about? about they talking about I, getting I, smashed. No, because I think that a lot of gay getting men eaten out. I think a lot of gay men <laughs> might be sleeping. <laughs> I think a lot of gay men, especially gay men that are sleeping with dudes who don't want people to know they're gay. Oh, like undercover shit? Yeah, they keep it to themselves. Yeah, but gay guys are also sleeping with the dudes that are cool with it. Like, yeah. tons of that. Well, they, they, they have a have male one. sexuality. They want to get it off all the time. And then there's other dudes who are like, I also feel that way. So naturally, this going to get it on and pop. Well, I hope and, 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 and I think that you will sit there and be more happier because you know you're not supposed to be doing it. So you just... Like, oh, I bust his ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, you having sex with girls. <laughs> man, that's I, easy for us. Hey, I like, really, well, I sex with that's easy. But I, yeah. I pray Lil Nas X talks like that on his new album. Yeah. I yeah, want Lil Nas X to talk just, I want him to be like, I want him to talk about dude's ass he yeah. busted. I want him to talk about <laughs> yeah. dudes the way rappers have been talking about women forever. For years. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. I really want. Little Nas X to remake Biggie Smalls' Dreams of Fucking an R&B Chick. Dreams of fucking Dreams of fucking some hip hop dick. I want him to <laughs> yeah. I want him to yeah. push the I want him to push the limit uh, on this shit. Cuz I love how dick. uncomfortable he makes people. Yo, that video, I think it was a video where he was like power bottom rapper Little Nas X. I'm like, man, talk that talk, Little Nas X. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a such thing as power bottom. Yes you do. No, I knew power tops. Oh, power bottom, throw it back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. I didn't know throw you could be a power bottom. Yeah. I didn't know. The, why not? I had no idea, bro. Come on. I heard of power tops. I never heard of power bottoms, yeah. bro. But that shit makes sense. So wait, what's the opposite of a power top? Just like a... I don't, I don't a weak know. Top. A weak top? You just stand on the wall. Well, see that? You see? Yeah. Back up the bank. What's a power? What's a, what's a weak bottle? I think a power bottle would make a weak top, right? A power bottle makes a power weak bottom top. Taking that shit, hell yeah! You know just, what I'm saying? Like she, she, screaming to the top, <laughs> screaming wow. to the top, hit it, hit it, man! You can't hit it. Imagine a power bottom reaching back trying to make you hit that shit harder. You like fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo. That's what makes you a power bottle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, what? I'm a weak top. No, but I'm still on a, I'm a weak bottom. I'm a weak bottom. I lay on my back. My girl's a power top, yo. I'm a weak bottom. I lay on my back, okay, and ride that shit. Let's go. This boy Schultz out here. It's always her go. Listen, it's hers. By the man. way, that is a very good point, Taylor. Some men are weak tops, even with women. I'm a weak bottom. If you get on there and you, you 25 seconds or less, you're a weak top, Hell bro. yeah. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? <laughs> I've been Why are we doing all this? What's, all, what's going on? How long do you really want to do this for? Yo. Ladies, Don't y'all got errands? Start calling men that 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 ejaculate fast. A weak top. Weak top. Yeah. Stop saying you got weak dick games. Like, bro, you a weak top. I'm a bro. weak top. <laughs> I'm weak top, weak bottom. I'm weak verse. Hey, I'm weak I, verse. Hey, by the way, I got homegirls who tell me about dudes who got little meat and and they can't even hit it from the back. No. Yes. That's the thing, Taylor. Taylor, come in. Have this conversation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What you mean? Told me. Hold who told on. you? I'm not saying who told me, but... Anybody y'all know? That, yes. Wait, who got a small dick? <laughs> so listen, a guy's meat can be so small that they can't even hit it from the back, right? Yeah, because especially if the girl has a big ass, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah but the pussy isn't in the ass. It's yeah, below it. Think, yeah, so think about it. I am thinking about it. There's nine... The pussy's underneath. Yeah, but think about it's not gonna... If it's... Like, for instance, my ass... <laughs> yeah, yeah. A small dick is not gonna be able to... Like, but if you bend over and you go you into that position, it's not, yeah, it's, it's not because it spends how rotund the ass is. How um, rotund weak it is. top, bro. Call these guys weak tops, yeah, Taylor. You gotta call them weak tops. I fuck with these weak tops, Taylor. You know what I'm saying? I only fuck with one. You only fuck with one weak top. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the new slang for guys. A uh, guy that got weak dick game, call them weak tops, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm fuck weak these gamer. weak tops, bro. Weak tops. Get on your back like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, real talk, it's 2021. We're about to be in 2022. On your back like a man, yo. Real men fuck on their back. Give the woman charge. I like the power bottom term, though, but if you a power bottom and you really taking that dick, you, you're actually bottomless. 
Ooh. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like a brunch. That- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Treat that ass like brunch. Oh man, salute uh, to all the power bottles. We're giving man. you that's bars, wild, Lil Nas though. X. Um, yeah, yes, Lil Nas X. Please, I can't wait to hear my tarot. I hope you make everybody uncomfortable. With when that are we shit, getting man. Lil Nas X on the Breakfast Club, man? I have no idea. Does he want to come on? It is. I don't know. I mean, he's always welcome. He's always welcome. Uh, Yahweh Rodriguez. Do y'all think music should be good in all mediums like car, club, headphones, et cetera? That's, is, that's, that's a strange question because good music, and I get what you're saying, but good music is good in all mediums. Yeah, but I hear what he's saying. Like some shit just slaps at the club. Definitely some does. shit is better to ride with. Definitely like, does. Like, have yeah. sex with, you right. Yeah, definitely yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, definitely like right does. now, we just playing Al Green right here. It's cool. Nah, but it'd be a little uncomfortable. If, if we're, we're smashing with your girl, that'd be this yeah. time and place for What's everything. What's wrong with Al Green? Love and happiness no, 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 with slap right like now. Certain things you're going to put on with your girl. Yeah. And certain girls you're going to put on with your guys and certain things. Like, y'all want to hear gospel music with me right now? Yeah. Why not? I, I, I could do down. gospel right now. Put it on. That's what I like to listen to. Um, Tido Mayan says, in order to be wise, do you first have to be a fool or can you learn from others' mistakes? Great question. Both. Ooh. Yeah, definitely both. Because smart people learn from their own, own mistakes. Wise people learn from the mistakes of others. Mm. But, I mean, it can be in either order. Like, you can, you can, a wise person still makes mistakes. I don't know why we act like wise people yes, don't make this mistakes. This is true. This like, is true. You have to grow. That's the way to go. That's right. This mistakes true, never yeah. stop happening. You're always going to make mistakes. You're always going to get something wrong. Yes. Like, never be well done unless you get in a frying pan. <laughs> That's right. I'm just saying, you gotta go through some shit. And you when you in that frying pan, it. use that grease that wax puts in his ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To really, really be well it's done. Real shit, though. Like, how you, how you make a steak? You want it well done for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. go through mistakes. You gotta go through the fire. You gotta go yeah. through pain. I hear you. Yeah. All right, let's okay. do this. This is a good one. Till the talk. This is the last one. This is a good one. Uh, Lord 90s Baby says, if Jesus came back right now, what would be the one thing you did that might get you left behind? Shit. The one thing that we did to get us left behind. Oh, 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 because he's going to bring us all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got you. Um, the one thing that I did that would get me left behind. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's man? a serious one, bro. That's not kill still. Yeah. <laughs> Wax going through his list of sins. Yeah, yeah. yeah you you staying, bro? No, no, no. Because I, I asked for forgiveness for. Oh no, I just got to ask for forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. So nothing. I, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I had sex with somebody wife before. That's probably the worst thing I did. Yeah. Um. That's back way way back in the day too, and um, I really don't do nothing for them to leave me. Violence counts. Yeah, right. I You're mean, right. You're I mean, right. truth. I mean, based off Lord's '90s question, Lord's '90s question is like an insult to all religion, especially Christianity, because like there should be nothing that gets me left behind, because I should be able to Ask repent, right? Exactly. As long as you repent, that's the thing. Yeah. We're all gonna repent, of course. All right, so Jesus I guess did. it's like not repenting off something that you know how people be all stubborn, and like no, yeah. I ain't, I ain't ask for forgiveness for that. No, yeah, fuck that. I meant yeah. to do it. I need to say that. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, probably yeah. be the only thing. The question should be: Is Jesus coming back? My answer would be no. You don't yeah, think so? Yeah, nah. Yeah, why would he? About. He's I'm like, here. Huh? I'm here. What do you mean you're here? What do you mean? Why would he come back? I'm here. He at least coming to get me if y'all want to go. He is not coming back to get you. Why not? You're on your own. That's why I want to But you see think you. he's coming back in your lifetime? Why not? Jesus is not coming back, bro. Because first of all, Jesus has never left. That's number one. That's what I'm saying. I feel his presence all the time. Christ too. consciousness is all around us. And he left us more than enough material to figure this out. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we're still fucking up. Yeah. So what, by the way, what would Jesus' presence do right now? Do you really think uh-huh. that yeah. we would be on one accord about that being Jesus? Think about the society we live in, how we argue about every fucking thing. That ain't really Jesus. If, if, man, please. That's a bootleg. That's just some shit they try. There's some guy they're trying to make us take the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Jesus? Y'all really think? Yeah. Y'all, people didn't appreciate Jesus when he was here the first time. What would he have to do? N- nothing. Oh. To nothing. convince you. There's nothing Jesus. Water the wine. We seen that. Turn me light skin. We see that now. <laughs> if Jesus could turn me light skin, we've seen doctors do that to Michael Jackson. All right, David That's Blaine true. walks on water. Right. David Blaine walks on There's water. There's nothing Jesus did in the Bible that, that would magicians impress people can't do now in 2021. Wow, wow. Please, come on, man. And I love wow. Jesus. Jesus, I Maybe love you. Wear those sandals. What, what about holes in his hands and feet? You don't play with Jesus. I still don't play with him. No, I don't, I don't, no. I'm saying, know. would he have those? Would he need to have the signs? We don't know. I'm sure he got uh, healed. Christ healed everybody else. Is you don't think he'll heal himself? Yeah, that's true. I think if Jesus came back, it would be just like anything else. There would be people that believe 
and there'd be people that don't believe. Mm. And the people that don't believe would be louder than the people that believe. I said, what about UFOs? You think everybody, we all see that, so you don't think anybody would be believing about the UFOs and not Jesus? That's kind of wild. I, everybody don't believe UFOs. But I'm saying if they see it, if they see Jesus. They still wouldn't believe it. People, yo, people, the UFO could pop up in the sky right now. People be like, that ain't no goddamn <laughs> UFO. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, Elon right. Musk. Yeah. That's a balloon. <laughs> That's Ida, bro. Ida, <laughs> like, like, I'm telling you. Well, we, fuck them then. Humans are wild creatures, bro. We yeah. are wild boys and girls. Like there's, yeah. yo, Jesus would have to do some real convincing and I just, I just don't think he would. That's why he's yeah, not coming right. back. If Jesus, know, yo, Jesus water, knows David us better than, than we know ourselves. That's facts. God knows us better than we know ourselves. That's probably why he didn't come back yet. God, like, God, like, son, cool out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, don't we're waste gonna, your time. Cool out. We're gonna make something else. Let yeah. them have the fun. You know what I mean? Is they on their lad? They on their season finale. <laughs> 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 I know you had a good time on that planet. You know what I mean? But, but they on so their season rap. finale. Don't even worry about it. That's not true. Taylor just said more people believe in UFOs no than Jesus. Way. That's Boy, absolutely Jesus, not true. His name is... Taylor, there's this thing called Christianity. It's the biggest religion in the world. It's yeah. t- and I it's definitely believe in hundreds Jesus more than... And hundreds of millions of people. Billion. If they came back, they will believe in UFOs. I, mean, I probably believe in Well, because UFO is something we've never seen before. You know what I'm saying? But 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 we've never seen is, Jesus, but But the thing is, if I still seen if it was up to Jesus or like which one is real, I would say Jesus because I'd be like, oh, that's just a plane that they put together. You know I'm saying that's that's a souped up airplane that they did in uh it's just so, there's so many dope right, ass planes so, out there. So Jesus walks in here, nice body, long hair, beautiful face, <laughs> right? He just walks in here and he says, I'm Jesus. Why be all that? You see I'm man just walking here. No, I'm just saying, would you believe him if he walked if in? If he's like, yo, I'm Jesus, I'm like, yo, show me something. Give me a million dollars right here on this table right here. Man, man, got nothing. man stop. I just want to, how, how else you want to know if it's him? Okay, I want Mark to walk in the studio next week and tell Wax he's Jesus. Because <laughs> I just described Mark. Yes, you did. How you know? What are you talking about? I just described Mark. Did I not just describe Mark? Describe Mark. What did you say? And again? if he had a million dollars, you just believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Is Mark gonna give me a million dollars? Yes. You're Jesus. Yes. So that's all it takes? <laughs> uh, no, it's not gonna take more than that. I'm just saying, after, after he do that, I'm like, okay, after the million dollars, uh, let's go do something else. You know See, what I'm saying? That's the problem. Let me, let me, Why Jesus go? gotta do all that? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I'm Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why do I have to prove the to you? Son of yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ. Hold on. So I might, I'm, I'm gonna feel anointing on him. It's gonna be certain, it's, it's gonna be something. You know, what I'm you know what's I fucked just, up? Even if you tested him on the Bible, he wouldn't even know because he ain't write it. He ain't write it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's out here like, he be like, well, I heard that story about me. What is like Leviticus it's... 7, 17? And he'd be like, bro, I don't even know, or man. Jesus might read it and be like, this didn't happen. Nothing. This didn't happen. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, yo, John be lying. I John. told you. Yo, John been a liar. <laughs> you yo, know David, what I'm saying? Yeah, David was out here smashing everything. Yo, Moses taking credit people. for my work? Moses yeah. ain't split no red seat. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker's asleep. Like, come on, man. <laughs> What if Judas was Jesus' best friend on the low? Yo. What if Judas been getting a bad rap all these years? What if yeah. Judas was framed? Yo, it was Peter. It was, it Peter. was really Peter the whole time. We don't know. Yo, that's foul. I thought it was anyway. <sighs> As always, <laughs> first yeah. of all, praise to God. Thank you. Whatever Facts. you believe. In Jesus, Jesus we love you. In Jesus' name, we love you. Yes. Uh, but if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. What if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit? You're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm.